Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Happy Friday. We've made it through another week. It's my favorite thing to do at the moment is play some hardcore. <laughs> oh, look at look at where we left. Look at where we left on Wednesday. Down in a lush cave with Enderman behind me. I'm probably if I hit F5, I'm probably about to stare in an Enderman and get wrecked and lose my first totem. Now we've got a few totems, but I'd still like to I'd still like to not die ever. You know, the totem's just a safety net. You know, just because just because trapeze artists have a safety net doesn't mean they want to fall off the wire, you know? We're still going to try to stay up there. <laughs> That's the plan. It's still hardcore. We're still I'm still going to I'm still going to take a big L if if we even use one totem. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that. Not just tested positive. Ah, oh, I, I, I swear everybody, everybody I know at least has one person in their family that got hit. It's crazy. It's crazy town. Crazy town. Stay safe, everyone. Soaring Eagle, thank you so much for the two months. May you be crazy. Gifted out a sub. A greasy V with the six months. Wow. In the house with the three months. Yes, three what does that say? That's a that's a word. Three Montessori school. I don't know what that means. Wow. <laughs> Three more months of school. Is that <laughs> is that what you meant? Uh, Hazy Grphone. Thank you for the eight months. So thanks for all you do. You bring many smiles and encouragement to many. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. We released, what What was it? Monday's, yeah, Monday's stream went out on the tubes of you today where we first tackled the, we first found the triple spider spawner. So that went out on the tubes of you today. Puka did an amazing job as usual. Ah, thank you, Haunted Knight in here. Letting everybody know that you can still get your hands on a plush. The Eye Candy Man plush. I feel a little bad. I didn't have any time to work on the uh, create mod this week. I didn't have any time because I, I was working on the uh, iron farm slash breeder. I gotta tell you, whoo! Villagers, they are a fickle mob. <laughs> they, sometimes they want to do what you want them to do, and sometimes they just say, nah, nah. I know it's working hours. I'm just gonna stand here and stare at the crops and not actually do anything. I was having a, I was having a struggle yesterday. I, I think I spent half the day yesterday just troubleshooting why why my villager would stop working because I was trying to make it infinite, have them harvest carrots and throw it to the, the other peeps for the uh, breeding and they would just stop. I did all sorts of stuff. I learned the data command. You know, there's a, you can do slash data and see all this information about them. I, I installed carpet mod for the first time ever, which is a mod that Nembon had put together and uh, who's now a developer for Mojang, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, I was doing all that kind of stuff, trying to figure it out. It's a really cool warp command. So I, I like ran, I don't know how many Minecraft, like a hundred Minecraft days in like an hour. <laughs> it was crazy. Yes, I did see the video from Scar uh, yesterday. Uh, I did know this was coming. He's, he's, uh, he, you know, we've talked to him, of course. And uh, I knew, I knew this was coming. It came, it seemed like it came quicker than I expected though. And um uh, Yes, Scar is going in for surgery, much needed surgery. Hopefully this gets him back to uh, back to good. You know what I mean? Like Scar missed so much time this last season and dealt with so much stuff um, because of this infection and stuff that he's had. And so I hope this surgery takes care of him. You know, obviously I hope surgery goes well as I hope he makes it through okay. Um, you know, thoughts and prayers out for Scar, of course. And uh, hopefully we'll get Scar back to 100%. It sounds like it's going to be a little bit of a recovery period. Two, three weeks, maybe. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'm hoping. I'm hoping it doesn't take him too long to get to get recovered because uh, I I miss the dude. I miss the dude. Yeah. And like he mentioned in his video, he hasn't really felt like himself in a while. Does it sound like I'm getting sick? I do feel like I'm a little like I'm a little maybe just morning voice, a little stuffed up. I had like some massive allergies last night. I had some massive allergies going on. Yeah, very nasally today. Okay. 
I wonder if uh I also had a big update to my Go XLR. I hope it didn't mess with my settings. My my Go XLR did like a firmware thing. I hope it didn't mess it up. Scar broke your heart yesterday. Yeah, I mean it, it that dude is resilient though. He's so resilient. He will he will bounce back like he always does and, and keep that he always has that positive attitude. I can't believe after everything Scar has been through in life, he still just has this like really amazing positive outlook on life. He's he's such a role model. I love the dude. All right, where do we leave off here? Might take me a while to get started if my voice doesn't like clear up. I don't know what's up. Mr. Seven. Thanks for the prime. Chaos Central, thanks for the prime. Kitty Mom. Thank you for the three months. Homicide, he'll be 300 bits. Dulce, Dulce, Dulce Muse, maybe? Dolce? Thank you for the prime. Guernsey in the house with 100 bits. Are any hermits in close contact with Scar? I'd love to know uh, if he's come through the uh, the operation okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think... Um, honestly, I think Grian might be the closest to him. You know, I think Scott probably got him on like WhatsApp or whatever they use to talk. Probably got his phone number and stuff. I don't think I have Scar's phone number. But anyway, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, he'll touch base. You know, he'll get on Discord and he'll tell us, you know, hey, I'm good. Or yeah, Twitter. Twitter's a good place too. Donna Marie, thanks for the 100 bits. Excited for the stream. I'm off work today so you can actually watch. Well, awesome. Good to have you here. Glad you don't have to work today. I bet you are too. <laughs> I am Jessica. Thank you so much for the three months. Terrific gamer with 100 bits. Space monkey with the three months. I know three months goes by fast. Love the streams and videos. Thank you so much. We've been doing all right. Hitting hitting all the hitting all the schedules. The schedule. Right? I hit the whole schedule this week. Actually, yesterday's JIT stream, I never even put on the schedule. Because I, I really wasn't sure if it was happening or not until like last minute. We had fun though. What game did we play? Witch Tastic. It was cool. It was a fun game. Very stressful. We yelled at each other a lot. <laughs> Uh, J Mar Design, thank you so much for the tier one. Copper Hanu, thanks for the 1500 bits. Copper, thank you. Just Grapes, thanks for the five months. You guys are amazing. Sounds like a normal gist stream then? Yeah, it totally was. All right, so what's the game plan today, guys? What's the game plan today? I made a list in my head and I didn't write it down again, but I think I remember this one. B-Boy Must, you just finished the hardcore video. Thank you. Thanks for watching on the main channel. Watching Puka and his amazing edits. Um, yeah, that was from Monday. So Wednesdays will be like... I think I do kind of take the weekend off from releasing. So I think my, like Wednesday's stream goes out Monday. And then today's goes out Wednesday. I give Puka a little bit of turnaround time. I don't want to put too much... I don't want to put too much on him. I don't want to like send him a file and then be like, Can I have this back tomorrow? I'll edit it in perfect. Like, it takes them half a day just to download these things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't die is the plan. Right. Yes, we have totems, but I still like to not die. That's a good plan. Miss Shoal. That's a good plan. <laughs> All right. No. Today, we are uh, starting off in the, the Lush Cave here. I want to check it out a little bit. I really don't know what to expect. Like, I don't know if there's that much stuff in here that I really care too much about. Uh, we've already got moss blocks and stuff, so... And we've already got the glow berries, but let's just check it out because it's cool to look at. And then we're going to go back up to the surface. And I don't know why I was so stubborn about this last stream, but so many people were telling me I should burn down the mansion. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. Today, I think well, we'll just do it. We'll just do it. It'll be fun to watch it burn. You know, it's Friday. Let's watch it burn. Let's burn it to the ground. Let's see what they Let's see if we missed anything. Right? Spore Blossom. Yes, thank you. We need the Spore Blossom. Uh, and then, uh, then we're going to go back to the base and do some netherite mining. Uh, I don't have, like, a ton of TNT. I don't want to do the bed thing. So we're just going to, we're just going to, like, branch it, I suppose, and hang out. So, and hopefully not die in lava. I think that's the plan. That's the plan. That should do us for today. <laughs> just Grape, thanks for the five months. Dakota, thanks for the 500 bits. Trevor, 85, thanks for the 300 bits. Ahim Angel, thanks for the 400 bits. Sequal, thanks for the two gifted subs. Big Phil, thanks for the 200 bits. Chief Gunny, thanks for the 500 bits. Okay, good. I wanted to see if that graphic stuff... You guys see the bottom left? 
Let me know if that freezes up, okay? Because it froze up yesterday yesterday on stream. So I got a new little graphic thing that shows where all my social, socials are. You guys like that? Pretty neat. Just pop up and let you know I'm on all the platforms and what, what my stuff is. On a couple platforms I couldn't get my like actual name on. I had to do like the underscore YT. It's like Instagram and TikTok. I did the underscore YT. The rest is just simple SV. Pretty easy, right? Fancy, yeah. Professional. Did a socials command. I still need to add my my uh, other channels to it because I do have three channels on YouTube. It's crazy, right? It overlaps with the um, the follows. I did notice that, but it only goes off every once in a while. So I think I'm OK with it. I don't think I want to move the follower thing and I don't want to move it. I want it down as far as possible. Was it subscriptions or follows? No, it was subscriptions. No, no, no. It was follows follows in the bottom left, right? Yeah, it was just follows, just follows. No, I appreciate the follows, but uh, <laughs> I do appreciate them. I just there's so much going on. Like if I move the follows and the follows are constantly going to be going off up top. And if I move the I don't know, whatever, I could move the follows to the bottom right instead. OK, we should play some Minecraft. I keep telling myself, you should start the stream 10 minutes early because you don't actually start playing the game until 10 minutes after we start the stream because people kick off the hype train and it's rolling and it's going crazy and it's beeping in my ear. I should turn off the beep part, maybe. Maybe I should turn off the beep part because then I can record where the hype train's going. Hmm. I could do that pretty easily, I think. Uh, level up, off. And then on the hype train end, I just need to kill the uh, the little sound. Although then I'm not going to know when the hype train ends. Hmm, that makes me sad. I don't want to do that. Should we just roll with it? Should we roll with it? I'm gonna make it into the, gotta have the the yeah Final Fantasy VII fanfare right. We'll just roll with it. If it ends up in the video, it ends up in the video. Because I, I got to do the intro at least. I sit here waiting for it to end. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Big Phil, thanks for the 200 bits. To an awesome streamer, thank you. Sequal, thanks for giving out those two subs. Chief Gunny, 500 bits. Wish I could catch these earlier in the week. Work has been keeping you busy. That seems to be going around. Work always wanting people to work. Crazy town, right? Ricky, thanks for the five gifted sub bomb. <laughs> Colossus, thanks for the prime. Slightly immortal, thanks for the four months. Central Cuisine with the hundred bits and Misty Monty with the two hundred bits. Thank you guys. Let's get the intro done. Let's get the intro. I gotta get recording. Bam. Okay. And then like, here we go. What day are we on? It didn't say. Uh oh. It didn't say what day we're on. Yikers. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Hardcore. And um, we're starting where we left off. I'm afraid to look around in this view because I could stare right into an Enderman's eyes. But as you can see, we left off in a, a lush cave here. And I kind of want to explore it a little bit. I want these things. What are they called? Drip leaves? Because they're dripping stuff all over. I want to go up and get one of those. And uh, you know what? If I do see Enderman, we're going to start gearing up, right, for the end. We gotta make a trip to the end. So, oh, jeez. Yep. Hello. Okay, I'm just gonna take care of her back there. Ooh, free potion. That's how you start an episode. What else did she give me? Some glowstone. Oh, feels good. I got my extra totem. Some fire resist. That is not a bad item. I almost want to put it on my hot bar. I guess we can swap the axolotl since we uh, we scored us an axolotl. But anyway, I think I'm gonna explore this lush cave a little bit to start things off today. Grab a few things that I've been wanting to get my hands on, which is going to be tough because you can see my inventory is kind of a mess as usual. But let's take a look around. Let's see if we find anything good. Spore blossom, not drips. What I call it? Dripstone? Drip leaf? What I call it? No, oh, yeah. Chat just told me that's actually called a spore blossom. I know stuff. I'm new to 118, okay? Wait a minute, that's been around since 117, hasn't it? <laughs> Wait, we had it in 117, didn't we? Hmm. 
You guys are confusing me. We had it on, yeah, we had it on 117 with data pack. Right, that's what was confusing is because like, n the we didn't have it just like normally without a data pack, right? So people didn't have it in 117. We did because we were special and we put it in there. Yeah, okay. Confusing. You guys just straight away confuse me. <laughs> anyway, Hype Train's done. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate that. I'm a Todd with 100 bits. Space Monkey gifting out a sub. They coded with a thousand biddies. Michelle gifting a sub and Rick Bon. Wait, RLC Bon. Sorry, look like an eye. Uh, thanks for that prime. Appreciate that. All right, let's go up. The day counter didn't go off today, guys. I'm a little worried about that. I think my day counter might be broken somehow. I'm not sure how that would happen. Don't I have a bucket? I don't have a bucket of water. I don't have... All right. All right, that fall's not going to kill us, right? If somebody plinks us off of this, I'll try the boat trick. It's going to be a little tough <laughs> to pull off. Uh. All right, we're going to settle this once and for all. What is this thing called? It is indeed a spore blossom. Right. <laughs> all right, well, I'll try to remember that. Oh, I thought I thought something was coming at me. It was just a fish flopping around. Just a fishy, fishy, fishy. What is what is it? What is a drip leaf? What what did I? Is this? Is that a drip leaf? Yes, big drip leaf. Okay, I know stuff. I know my foliage. <laughs> oh, Pook is gonna have fun with this one. Pook is gonna have fun with this one, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope I'm recording. Okay, I am. We're good. <laughs> I'm giving him some gold in the beginning, yeah? I'm the foliage master. All right. I wasn't sure if I needed to use my pickaxe. Knowing stuff is fun. <laughs> right. We're learning. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Can you harvest these from the bottom or do you lose them? Looks like it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, you get more. You get one for each stem. Oh, these poor fish. These poor fish. You guys really shouldn't have spawned down here. It's kind of cool. There's tropical fish down here, though. That is neat. Oh. Wh why? What is happening? Why did that just come up and say saving? I've never seen that before. What just happened? Ooh, there's diamonds under here. That was interesting. Never seen that. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, we're still touching it. All right, we'll take it back in aura form. Look at it go. I gotta, I gotta like find a trash can. Actually, something is going on. Like, my PC is screaming. Why? No, I mean, I got frames. Hmm. Oh, stream, stream quality is okay. That's not a problem. But my PC is screaming. It doesn't usually scream like that during, during the stream. I rebooted today. Hmm. Is this streams? This stream's not super laggy, just the game got laggy. Yeah, yeah, there was like an update. Ooh. Alright, so this should be like the small drip leaf, right? It didn't give it to me. Did it? Or no, it did no. How do you get the small drip leaf? Or you have you can't. Hmm. We'll take these. Oh, you need shears for those? Okay. Okay. Next time I do the I'll do it right. So we have big drip leaf. We have a couple spore blossoms. I think I saw, was there another spore blossom in here? Yeah, right there. Let's collect a few of these. I don't know how many we're going to use. 
Oops. Yeah, I know F3 gives me the day, right? Where is it? Where is it on F3? Day 164. Okay, there it is. Next to local difficulty. Day 164. Yeah, the data pack. Something's up. Something's up. Am I running Optifine or anything? The game just paused, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm running Optifine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's why we found it. I may have increased my chunks to 64 during the testing of the iron farm for some reason. Like, you know, when you're doing testing of things, you want to make sure render distance and stuff isn't going to be a problem. You know, I might have turned it up to 64 chunks. All right, computer, you can you can be quiet now. You, you calm down. You'll be fine. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Why is my computer screaming at me? Well, because I'm trying to render 64 chunks at a time. You know, no biggie. Oh, it's nice and quiet in here again. Oh. Jeez. What could it be? I don't know. All right. Did we get any of these? We don't. I don't think we really need these, right? Do you get the same amount? Oh, you don't actually. You only collect it when they're the. Uh, like that gives you nothing. But that would give me the berries, right? Okay. Got to learn some stuff. <laughs> Mine struggles with 12. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, the day counter's on. There we go. 165. Okay. Sweet. All right, let's go up there. It's a good place to get clay, huh? Silk touch will give me the berries. Yeah, we silk touched it. That's for sure. Oh, another axolotl. That's not a... Hang on. There's mobs up here. Let's have her. We got, you know, why we're up here. Got to have your wits about you. There we go. I don't know how well you guys can hear that. Is this the elusive blue axolotl? I don't think so. Where did it go? How do you know what color that is? What does it say? It just says axolotl. It doesn't say, right? Where'd he go? Yeah, it doesn't say what kind it is. It's cyan. Okay. Like, I wouldn't know if it was, like, the elusive blue, you know, axolotl if I came across it. All right. If it was blue, I'm sure you guys would be screaming. It's blue! Get it! Right? You'd let me know. You'd let me know. Oh, you can't find them anymore. Oh, they changed it. You can't even find them anymore. You have to breed them up. I kind of want that small drip leaf, but I don't have any iron. There's some. Let's take some time to get it. Yeah, because it is neat. Oh, I needed to do that with fortune. Oh, the axolotl is making noise, I think. One in 1,200 chance. That is crazy. Is there any actual stone in here? Do I have to break my own stone? I did have iron? Oh, I did have iron. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Come on, coffee. That's it. That's it. I'm leaving. <laughs> Forget any of that happened. Okay. I don't know how I didn't see that there. In fact, I don't even want that. I don't want the. I don't want any of this anymore. I quit. I don't want any of this. I don't even want these diamonds. The coffee, if you, the coffee can kick in now if it feels like it. That would be great. Come on, coffee. We're off to. We're off to a rough start today. Calling things by the wrong names. Calling spore blossoms drip leaves. All right, now we can get these small drip leaf. 
obtained. Okay, I'm gonna get this guy. You've been hanging out, guy. I appreciate you. I really do. Let's get you in a. Let's get you in a. Oh no! Almost looked at him. Okay. Okay. Come on. Nope. Come on. C come on. Just go with me on this. Yeah. You literally walked by the boat without going in. Watch now. He's gonna walk right back. Now that I picked it up. Get in the. There we go. Haha. -ha. I'll take that sand. I feel like the uh are the system sounds kinda low. Is the game volume kinda low? Ooh, now we can get some lichen, you're right. Yeah, it is, huh? Okay. Just using this on everything now. Okay, what about this? Still gives you nothing when you do that. Just when you get to the the berries. Oh, also don't want to lose my way, right? Because we know we got to go back that way. Is there anything good? Let's look. At, let's look around. I keep hearing all these noises in here that are terrifying. Um. Let's do this. Scumpus. Gotta use a scumpus. Worst case, just dig up. Yeah, that is so tedious, though. Right? Let's see where this goes. Hey, hey, another, another spore blossom. I know the name now. Thank you. <laughs> this is the way. Definitely a good way to get clay, I think. It's better than going down in the water. Using a compass? Is, I don't know. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I don't think I don't think there's really much to this. Oh, no, look, it goes back a little bit. Anytime I see these, like, people tell me I need to dig them out because there could be, like, an iron vein, but I've never... I have yet to see an iron vein out of these. It's all just... It's all just tuft. <laughs> Scumpuses are fun. Yeah. That is true. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, let's take a look. I don't know why I want all these. I probably never use them. You guys know, I'm just kind of a hoarder. Get them because they're cool, you know? Need to see iron and then dig. Okay. Yeah, not worth exploring them if you don't see iron straight away, right? I'm with you. I know there's like lapis and stuff, but I'm not really too concerned about... Ooh, okay, it's getting dark now. Okay, I think that's it. Like, the lush cave wasn't that big. I was hoping it'd like be a little bit bigger than that. Oh, well. We could go down and just take a little peek down there. Oh, did you see that shot? Actually, let's go up. Maybe it goes a little further. Oh, is this some rooted? No, I thought that was rooted. Uh, little ravine action. That's scary. That's death. It's cool, though. I wish it was lit up a little more. Oh, I don't want that. I don't know why I'm getting so much of the drip leaf. I seriously doubt I'll do anything with it. All right. Let's go back up. Let's go burn down the mansion. <laughs> this didn't have, like, nearly as much cool stuff in it as I was hoping for, unfortunately. Get some lichen. Get a little bit of lichen. So we can start a lichen farm. Everybody needs a lichen farm, right? We got the axolotl, that's true. Totally worth it for the axolotl. Did somebody just try to kill me? Okay, good. 
It's like no mobs in caves now. Crazy, right? Right click on the glow berries. Oh yeah, to leave it in place. Why can't I set this? Oh, it's carpet. It's fine. Yeah, we're gonna burn down. We're gonna burn down the mansion, and then we're gonna go netherite mining. That's that's the plan for today. Ooh, gold. Gold down here, huh? Okay. So what's the deal with the gold? You wanna? I guess overworld gold doesn't matter. I did hear that like in the nether, if you silk touch it and then smelt it, you actually get more that way. Like that's the way to go in the nether. Uh, guys, what can I give up? I don't need the glowstone actually. I actually, I kind of wanted that moss. Not that we need it, do we? Fortune for the overworld? We could do some science. I grabbed it so we can always do some science. Ooh, there's another drip leaf up there. Let's go grab that. This is the way, right? If I turn this into cobble on the way, that'll help. Eh, oh, you're over there. There's the rooted dirt. That's our way up. Okay, perfect. Did I call it a drip leaf again? You heard nothing. Maybe I did that for to troll everybody, huh? Because it's funny. Oh, it's like, what is that noise? Let's peek over here just real quick before we go. Before we go back up. Just take a little peek, sis. I don't need that lapis. All right, let's go back up. This is a good place for clay. If I ever need any, this is where I shall go. Oh man, we are down far. It's gonna take every block I have to get out of here. I kind of want to save the rooted dirt. And it feels bad to give up deep slate. Uh oh, we're in a predicament. We're in a predicament. Wood also is uh, something I don't really want to give up. Yeah, we could dig through, I guess. And then we could get even more, right? We could stack up through this and get even more. On the way up? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That's smart. If my tools can handle it. I'm gonna run out of room. Make a ladder? Oh, I did have wood. We could make it. Oh, I wonder if we'll be up and down enough that a ladder would be worth it. You guys think? We got enough wood. We could. Because we're probably... Do we want to come down here again? And we did say we might want to come down here for clay. Hmm. Kind of tempted to do a ladder now. I think that might be the uh, the way to go. Let's just take the time to do it. Let's take the time to do it. I think it'll be worth it. This could be a place we frequent, you know? Uh-oh. Crafting table number 11? Maybe? If we're keeping track, I think that might be about 11 crafting tables now I've made. All right, question is, how many do we need? How far down do you think we went? 27? Feels like more than 27, doesn't it? I think we need a little more. Let's do a little more. Let's brave it with whatever this leads to. 36. Check my F3 screen. Sure, that tells us we're at zero, but we don't know what the surface is, do we? Right? Let's see if we got it. I don't think we did. I can, I can tell we, we did not. We, oops, that's not what I wanted. I think it's a 41. Oh. We need a stack. You're right. Yeah. Well, before we go up there and waste time, let's just do it. Ah, it's 
Stop! <laughs> My inventory is such a mess. Ah, killing me. Mmm. Mmm. We're just using it all. This better be enough because that's all the wood I have. All right. I know I need an ender chest. Hey, let's take care of that today too if we can. Skizzle man just got done watching my episode that came out today and he's like you found a triple spider spawner are you kidding me you got a totem you found a triple spider spawner he jelly he jelly <laughs> quit watching the stream skiz you're supposed to be working Get infinity on that, but uh oh, this is gonna. Oh, who? <laughs> Get me. Any sand? Yeah, yeah. I knew that was coming. Of course, it's nighttime. Of course, it's nighttime. How many extra ladders did we make? Hey, there's some extra wood. Death by ladder. That would be. That would be a, a terrible way to go out, wouldn't it? I'm gonna come up and just the creeper's gonna explode right in my face. Here we go. Boop. And, oh, -ho, you tried. He tried. Quit it. You're mean. Quit being mean. Oh, don't go in the water. Somebody should really light this place up, jeez. All right, where did we leave? It's nice not to have so many Vex just shooting at us, doesn't it? Doesn't that feel good? All right, let's go. Wow. Potatoes! Look at all the boats we left around. I torch spam because I can. Now, last time we were here, we were the Fire Brigade. We went around and we put out all the fires. This time, we're gonna be the cause of the fire. We're gonna burn down that mansion. It's gonna leave behind any kind of secrets that it may have within that we might have missed. And uh, we'll see if we can find anything good. Who knows, maybe we'll finally find an enchanted apple. I don't know if that's actually in the loot table for a mansion, but I'd like to hope there is. <laughs> Pearl would be happy about the torch spam. All right. Let's clear this up. G's inventory management, you guys know, is definitely my strong suit. All right. We don't have flint. I forgot we found that diamond block in there. That was a score. Oh, geez. You got a sword and everything, dude. Get in the boat. Jeez. Jeez. Who? gives their kid an enchanted sword to play with. Where is your parents? I need to have a serious talk to them. He doesn't have parents. That was brutal. <sighs> oh, I murdered his parents, right? <laughs> That's why he came after me, because I just murdered his parents. Oh, I guess that makes sense. I am a horrible, horrible person. I am a horrible person. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, we could do lava bucket to burn it down instead of making a flint and steel. I like that idea. I like it. I like it. Somebody's a smart thinker. Oh. Remember, ender pearls, ender pearls at any chance we get, right? I seen you. Where'd you go? Gotta find a bunch of mobs to get to this guy. Where'd he go? Could just go to the nether and get Enderman there, right? I think we did find a... a what are they in? The warped? Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. You guys are being okay. Jeez, let's let's calm down with the bow shooting. Okay, can we calm down with the bow shooting, please? Oh jeez. Let's just calm down with the bow shooting. <laughs> Did you see me get that get that boat trick down? That was amazing, right? <laughs> the ender pearl's not worth dying for. And we, we we did fine, right? Oh. Ho! There's yeah, there's a lot of mobs. That's 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 a that's that's a few mobs. You know what? Ha! Yeah. That's so many mobs. Why is there so many of you? <laughs> Look at how many there are. Why is there so many mobs here? Stop it. I like I like playing with lava though. Oh jeez, creeper behind me too. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's smart. He's a smart spider. Oh, he thought he was anyway. Jeez. Now you guys can all burn in a different way. We're saving the durability of our bow and our sword right now. Oh. I, I, I caught the forest on fire. Whoops. How about now? Is there still a chance he's around? Oh, you got fancy pants. All right, Mr. Fancy Pants. Enjoy your lava bath. I think he's gone. I think the Enderman's... Nope, there he is. Hey, 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 hey. I know. I know it's daytime. But if you could... Thank you. Give me something good. This is why I need looting three. Haha. -ha. Ender Pearl. Score. That off our hot bar. We've learned our lesson this season, haven't we? <laughs> haven't we? Hey, look! The mansion was already on fire. We missed it. While we're in the cave, it must have caught on fire. All right. Well, we'll we're just gonna go finish it off. Shall we? Let's do the smart thing. Let's burn it from the first floor. <laughs> oh. Should we start at the top? Smart. Right. Look at this. Oh, man. Yeah, no, this burnt. We missed the burning. Oh, bummer. It's already done burnt while we were down in the cave. Lucky this didn't happen while we were in it. Jeez. Man. <laughs> Somebody was just here doing a little work. Installing some skylights is all. <laughs> oh, man. Now, if I needed bookshelves, this would be a good place to get them, right? But I don't. All right. So now that this place is like fairly well burned down, I mean, I'm kind of bummed. I was looking forward to doing that myself. I'm really bummed, actually. There's still room for me to burn something, right? I gotta burn something. All right, let's check. Let's check this chest here. All right, we got it. We wanted that name tag. That's it. I'm looting everything. I'm looting everything. Even this. Even this chainmail chest plate. It's mine now. <laughs> uh. Man. Must have happened while we we're in that lush cave, I suppose. Let's see what you got. Iron Axe. It's mine now. This belongs to me. I can't pick it up. No, I did. Well. There's definitely no mobs left. Did I see another chest up there? It's super hard now to get to places. That's it. We can... We, we're, we're gonna burn this. Something catch on fire quick. Come on. The 
the forge in the middle did it. There we go. Fire started. I thought I covered that. I'm gonna light this on fire too. Show this mansion who's boss. <laughs> uh. I should have just made a flint and steel. This is ridiculous. There we go. All right, so this is free chests. You know, you never know when you're going to need some free chests. I'm telling you, I really wish they put cool stuff in these. Like just one. Just pick one of these chests randomly to put cool stuff in. And that way you have a reason to like go and actually like look at all of them. That would be really cool. Did the replay mod catch it? No, I don't have the replay mod running. Kind of a bummer burned down without us around. Oh well, it happens. Did you guys see the season of uh, Naked and Scared where Skiz and I had to conquer a mansion? And we got to it and the whole thing just like burnt down before we could even get inside. That was a that was a crazy season. Oh, I have my why are my uh, alerts off? People being amazing. Holy smokes. Thank you guys so much. With Tiger, thanks so much for the five months. Magic Engineer, thank you for the prime. Saint Drone. Thank you so much for the prime as well. Chancy RN with a thousand bits. I hate that I work night shift and I have to work tonight. Enjoy the stream. Uh, I've got to get some sleep. All right. Chancy, I probably missed you. I'm sorry. Sorry, we got uh, caught up in the lush cave. Uh, by now, I, I hope you're sleeping and, and getting, getting a good night rest for your shift. Yeah, we'll get to the netherite mining. Don't worry. Don't worry. We still got a couple hours left in front of us. We'll be fine. Uh, did I get all the chests? All right, burn it. Burn it to the ground. Uh, no Among Us tonight. Edit the Zeta. Sorry. Um, yeah, no Among Us tonight. There was multiple people again that just uh, couldn't make it tonight. So we've been we've been struggling to get the crew back together, it seems. Everybody's got a lot going on in their lives, I suppose. It's all right, you know, happens. People got to have lives. Coyote Theta, thank you so much for the five months. Ricky, thanks for the 200 bits. It says, hey, Impulse, could you wish my son Luke a happy sixth birthday? He loves Minecraft and we play together all the time. Love your content. Absolutely, six. Six years old. What a fun time. Happy birthday, Luke. Have a good one, my friend. Enjoy your day, your special day. Amazing. I left a chest. Oh, no. This will work, right? We should have we done the flint and steel. <laughs> we should have done the flint and steel. Uh, Xandis, thanks for the prime. Bees Boxler, thanks for the prime. Fake Sevens, thanks for the prime. Lena in the house with a thousand bits. Hi, Impulse. Am away on vacation, so was not able to catch the streams this week. But I'm able to join for some time. Enjoy your vacation, Lena. That's amazing. Have fun. Have fun. I, oh, you make me want to go on vacation. Jeez. Afraid Dragon, thanks for 11 months. Guernsey, thanks for 100 bits. Could you get a European group together and play Among Us earlier instead? Um, Yeah, I mean, it's too late today to get anything going. Uh, Right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I was almost in the fire. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Up in flames. We'll do what we can to this place. We'll do what we can since we didn't get a chance to do it ourselves. Um, a lot of lot of people taking a break right now though. It's hard to get people together. All the hermits and stuff. Like a lot of them are just like psh, off the grid. I think Mumbo went to like where did Mumbo go? Scotland or something? I think Mumbo went to Scotland. It's a good time for uh, people to take a break. I, I was uh, 
I wasn't really feeling like I needed a break, so I decided, you know what? Instead of taking a break, let's stream. Let's stream a lot. Let's do that. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. It's on fire. I'm standing. Ah, there we go. This is kind of the wreckage I was hoping for. I was hoping for more, honestly, but uh, there we go. Up in flames she goes. Very nice. Very nice. Danny in the house with a $5. Can you dig it? Hey, Impulse. Happy Friday. Danny, happy Friday to you. Thank you so much for that. TK Shaw, thanks for the five months. And uh, I got to pull up something real quick. Actually, let me let me uh, pause. Pause the game real quick. Because I think something came in on the Streamlabs. I want to make sure I don't miss. Do... Pook in the house. How you doing, Pooks? You getting a, a sneak peek of all the footage I'm going to be sending you later today? <laughs> oh, here it is. Here it is. Can you dig it? Thank you so much. $50 donation from Old Man Luck. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, my friend. It's the same pulse, a quick drive by donation from over the pond because I never usually catch your streams. You're an inspiration for us who. Uh, work to turn a side hustle into a full-time job. Congrats and stay safe. Thank you so much, old man luck. I really do appreciate that donation, my friend. And uh, yeah, if you can't stay, no worries. Uh, appreciate that. Have a good one. And yeah, thanks. I mean, we've talked about it on stream before, right? Like this this whole YouTuber thing was never something I thought would be something I do full-time, like as my, my job. But yet here we are. It happens and uh, I'm grateful, truly grateful. That's right, folks. Pook is in the house, the amazing editor. If you've been watching, if you've been watching the uh, the recaps, kind of like the stream recaps, basically, on uh, the main channel on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, that's Puka doing the editing, adding in all the fun stuff, making fun of me for saying foliage. <laughs> uh, here we go. I can't do the lava anymore. That was, that was, uh... This is too much. Too much waiting around. I want to just run around with a flint and steel and just burn it. There we go. Of course, I, I won't have the pocket space for this. Love the smart graphic for Imp and Skiz. Yeah, he does the Imp and Skiz stuff, too. Alright, I was kidding about that. Where did it actually go, though? Right there. All right. Up in flames she goes. Burn, burn, burn. It's a burning mansion. That wasn't as good. That wasn't as good. 39 chests. We can make our own chess monster here. Perfect. Free lead. All right. Lint and steel acquired. Perfect. Oh, gonna be nighttime. I think. Did I bring a bed? I did not. Do beds burn? There might be one in there I can use. How come I didn't bring a bed? Hmm. Is it in my inventory? Oh, pfft. I'm blind today. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Oh no! I guess we haven't slept in a while. Okay, okay. Everything is fine. This is fine. Where'd they go? They're over there. Do I have time? Quick, 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 quick. They came out super fast. If I could just see my inventory properly, I would have seen the bed in time to make sure that didn't happen. Okay, they didn't chase me. Maybe they heard me screaming and felt bad. <laughs> uh. I I switched to my sword like it had looting on it. Did you see that? I tried to do the pro strat and switch to the sword. <laughs> you 
can sleep underwater without drowning. That's interesting, huh? Okay. I need some disposable blocks so I can stack up. Anything in here disposable? Just some cobble. Everything else I want to keep for myself, including the wood. His beds can't be waterlogged. Oh, that is interesting. The phantoms will chase you underwater, though, won't they? Burn. See, this is how we could do it. Now we get to run around. Now we get to run around and have fun. Oh, <laughs> try not to burn ourselves. Excuse me. You're going to burn. And you get a fire and you get a fire and you get a fire. Yep. Let's see. Very happy about being on fire. <laughs> hey, look, it's my logo. Oh. <laughs> Don't do this at home, kids. Don't be a pyro. Oh, I went through this flint and steel fast. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this back wall's definitely deserving, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> there she goes. All right. Now, we just need to keep our eye out and see if there's any, any chests. Oh, there's that crafting table and furnace I left. It's good to know. We can take these stairs. I mean, this place is going to be a floating mess forever, isn't it? There's no way we're burning everything down. Oh, jeez. Forgot about that hole. Do we see any chests that we might not have grabbed? I want to get to that part right there. I think I need to go make another flint and steel. Yeah, I was planning on coming in here and like doing one floor at a time. I don't even know if that's possible, but now we can't do it. Get the glass. What? Oh, it's a pillager raid. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, we actually left a guy. I thought for sure we'd left a vindicator or something. Oh, we're going to have bad omen from that. Oops. Okay, he didn't die. He didn't die. We're, we're fine. In fact, what if your buddy killed you? How would you feel about that? What if your buddy did it? You know? It's not me. It's your friend. Your friend's doing it. How you feel about that? <laughs> You're not very smart, are you? Is there more? It's got to be more. Just the two? What kind of party is that? That's not a pillager party. That's like just two dudes hanging out. Can't call that a party. <laughs> uh -oh. Pillager pals. They were just pillager pals. Until one shot the other in the back. Please. All right, we'll do this outside the water then. Oops. How about we do it somewhere where it's not going to... Come on. This is a pain. There we go. That's right, I have a fortune pick. Would have produced flint and flint the first try. Jeez. All right. Let's see. That chest there. Let's make sure that we didn't miss anything in that. I'm sure we uh I'm sure we saw it on the way in. Just in case, though. Let's go and check it out. Oh. 
We were going to leave a diamond chest plate? Maybe we didn't find this one. Interesting. Free diamond chest plate. We'll take it. Even though they cost us like one emerald piece now. Okay. You. Got it. Perfect. You. And you. I'll burn. I did see that one and I just left it. Yeah, I probably had the same thought I just had now. Like, oh. I have plenty. Like, these are super cheap where I back at my base. So, let's just leave it. Everybody's going to be like, take the redstone. Anywhere else? I think I need to go up there. There's a whole set of uh, stuff right there. Let's see. What's the best way to get up there? This place is such a mess. I know. Let's take the stairs. If they only connected, right? Totem. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think I was going to fall to my death or anything, but you know. Better safe than sorry. All right, what do we got up here? Anything good? Now we got a bird's eye view. Burn this down. Burn it all. <laughs> Forever, this is gonna have floating blocks. I feel a little bit bad about leaving it in this space in the shape, but it is still fun watching it burn too. A chest. Yep, there's a chest right here. Woo! What do you got? My stuff that I put in there. <laughs> in the fire. Smells like burning. What does he say? He doesn't say it smells like. He says, uh, does he say taste like? Tastes like burning? I think. Yeah, I got the diamond block in the obsidian cage last stream. Thank you. That was in the chest. The bread is now toast. Can I reach it? There we go. Now we won't get confused whether or not we'd already got it. Uh, can I reach? Come yeah, that'll work. Let's go over this side. Come Burn a little bit more. Burn these walls down. I like this part. I'm trying to be a little more conservative because I went through my last split and still so fast. All right, let's work our way over here. Let's work our way over here. People being amazing again. Prophecy drag. Thank you so much. In fact, you know what? Let's take a let's take a quick uh, let's take a quick pause. Let's take a quick pause. It's top of the hour. That means I got to cut the recording for Pukas, so it's not such a big file. Boop. Okay. And we'll take a quick pause and say some thank yous and take a quick break. I think I want to do this. I think I want to do, like, every top of the hour, you guys let me know, hey, it's top of the hour. Um, I'll cut the recording so that we keep the file size down for the editor. And uh, and then we can catch up on stuff and things. And I'll, I can take a quick break if I need it. Prophecy Drag, thanks for the Prime. Axiogenesis, thanks for the Prime. Tigerfly, thanks for the four months. Philip Abner, thanks for the tier one. Mama Bear with the Prime. Brassy Chassis with a kid, you dig it. Hey, Empty Banana, you mentioned Mumbo going to Scotland. Well, did he tell anyone that his trip was pants? <laughs> Scotland with the kilts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. I wonder if he did wear a kilt while he was in Scotland. Love to see a picture of Mumbo in a kilt. I mean, just because it'd be funny. Not because I want to... 
See my button. Okay. okay, moving on. And by the way, Puka must have tons of clips from you and Skiz. I hope he makes a bloopers reel one day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be great. I'm sure he's got some. He's got some like stuff that that yeah, it was definitely off camera stuff that that I'm sure he got chuckles out of. Zero knot. Thanks for the six months. What on earth? Hey everybody, it's the arson with Impulse Show. <laughs> Ars I'm definitely uh. Doing some arson today, right? Kimco, thanks for the $25. Can you dig it? Got a DNR. Let me read it real quick. Thanks so much, Kimco. Everything's all right. Appreciate that $25 donation. You're amazing. Thank you. Zacadino, thanks for the six months. Burn it down. Cody007 with a 10 gifted sub bomb. Leela Flo, thanks for the three months. Why are we burning the mansion down? Just to make sure we didn't like leave any hidden chests or anything crazy behind, right? Um, all right, cool. So I'm gonna take just a, a real quick break. In fact, I think I'll I think I'll do the uh, what's the one doing the work one, the, the work song. It's 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 short and sweet. So we will uh, we'll do that real quick, and I will be right back. I think I'll and then I'll I'll stand up as well. Work all day, yeah, that one. I think I got that one fired up here. Here we go. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. Be right back. The bills need paying and the blocks need placing. Gotta work, work all day. All right, there we go. I was raising my desk. Sorry. Yeah, I always mute when I go to break. <laughs> and then I come back and I forget it. Oh, yeah, I got to unmute. I should do something about that. All right, got water now. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get going. Second hour. Here we go. I'm unmuted now, yeah? We're good? Song is great. Glad you enjoyed it. All right. And we're back in the world. Stand it up. Hey, I am not still muted. <laughs> nice try. All right. We'll burn down a little bit more and then I want to go back. Let's get some stuff done today. Am I on fire? Oh, that block's on fire. Let's not stand on that block. I can't reach. There we go. <laughs> it's all around me. Oh, gosh, I almost did. I almost did catch myself on fire there. Oops. All right, I think I, I got everything, but let's see. Can we get over there? Kind of running out of blocks. You know what we could do? We could build a bridge with blocks and then just burn it. You know, they say never burn, never burn a bridge, right? But we're going to do it. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. I did hit record again. Thank you. I, I appreciate you guys looking out. I'm not going to burn that because I need to get back. Do we want to take these banners? Maybe we do? 
Let's not have phantoms again tonight, yeah? Shouldn't be anyway. Why am I burning the mansion? Uh, just to make sure we've revealed any of the secrets in the mansion. You know, burn down the walls and, and reveal any any kind of thing that could have been there that we might have missed. Do we want some black banners in our base? Ooh. I'm keeping these spoils of war. Yep. Ooh. All right. Anything back there? Let's just take a look around. And if we don't see anything, I'm out. I'm pretty sure we did a, a good job of like finding all the little hidden secrets. I do want to burn this back corner though. Let's go around and burn it. You two can burn. Yeah, the chest won't burn, right? So if there's like if there's chests that we miss, they will uh they will rear their ugly faces. Actually, I mean they're not ugly. We shouldn't call them ugly. But we'll be able to see them after we burn the place down and then and it's like, oh hey, there's goodies. Excellent. The problem is there's like so many floating blocks that it's hard to like tell if we did actually miss anything. <laughs> There's a chest there. Let's go check that. We'll burn, burn our bridge again. Oh no, forest fire. <laughs> Oops. Mm. Oh yeah, there was a disc in here. I kind of wanted that. Take gunpowder. Not that we need string or bone or any of this, actually. Mainly just the music disc was nice. All right. I'm glad we came back for that. Excellent. Anywhere else? We'll take a short look around. Some more banners. That's okay. And live without those. Oh, I better get off of this burning platform that I've created. Yep. Oh. All right, I think that's about good. I think, I think we're about good here. Not seeing much. Let me know chat if you guys see any floating chests or anything like that that we might have missed. No, oh, well, okay, all right, I know, I know this is there. That's nothing, that's nothing. Hmm. Hmm. I think we done did it. Bookshelf. We got the diamond block out of the obsidian. I think there's only one, right? Don't need to worry about that. That can go up in flames. I feel like we should get our crafting table back. <laughs> I don't think we left anything in there. All right. Let's go. That's enough destruction for today. What about under the stairs? Under this boardwalk. Under the stairs. Under the stairs. Under the stairs. I don't think uh I don't think there was anything under the stairs. Like that this bit you're talking about where is the stairs? Where's the stairs? I'm lost. There's the stairs. Talking about this bit. Ooh. There's a secret room here that we need to go in. No, this is just that. This is just the little... Yeah, yeah, No, nothing in here. Free cauldrons, though. Didn't we say we wanted the free cauldrons? We'll take the free cauldrons. Even though we have an iron farm. <laughs> I loot the weirdest stuff. We got enough gunpowder, let's TNT this place. Oh man, there that goes. There that goes. Oh, I just want to get rid of this thing. There we go. All right, we're all done. That's... Where did we come from? This way? Yeah. 
<laughs> was there any buttons? Could, did I find any buttons? No, I did not. Oh, man. <laughs> you know I would have taken them buttons if I could. But don't forget the iron doors. I can't even bring this stuff back. We need shulker boxes or something. I'm going to have to literally pick and choose now what we're taking. Great. <laughs> we overlooted. We can't carry this stuff. And we have to go all the way back to our base. All right, let's put it all... Let's put it mostly away. I know I'm going to keep some of this stuff. Um, I don't need the lava bucket. I'd rather have water, to be honest. Ender pearl was nice. Right? Chests, free chests are good. Name tag is good. Disc, I wanted the disc. This is just like, what are we taking back at this time? Mm, I mean, yeah, I don't even care about this diamond chest plate. Melon seeds, I cannot remember. Yeah, we need to get an ender chest, but we... I need the eyes, the ender pearls, right? And then we have blaze rods back at the base. So we could actually make an ender chest. Let's take our diamonds. Let's take our uh, our axolotl and our spore blossom and our drip leaf and our little drip leaves and our glow berries, although I think I have some. Our lichen. Of course, we're going to take that extra totem. You know that. All right. Um, don't care about the emeralds, really. Oh, there's... Oh, we have two of the same disc. Why did we care so much? Hmm. All right, I'm leaving one. I mean, it's not like we'll never be back. Rooted dirt, we'll take it. Get the sunflower, big deal. We might need some some yellow dye. Okay. We'll 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 come back for the rest of the stuff at another time. All the torches. And the gold. Right, okay. All right, there we go. All right, that's good. We've looted, and now we're scooting. Wait, that didn't work. We looted, and now we're scooted. We looted, and we scooted. And we're off. Bye-bye, mansion. That was fun. Combine the diamonds. Oh. Now I could go back and take something else. <laughs> That was a loot scoot and boogie, yes. Exactly. <laughs> oh. People being amazing, thank you so much. Leela Flow, thanks for the three months. Cap Dan X, thanks for the 16. Oyander with 100 bits. Based on your playtime and sleeping, Dragon Fight next Friday. Ooh, already? Already. Oh, man, okay. Next Friday, Dragon Fight. That would be awesome. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. Bring it on. Series 200, thanks for the two month resub. Hey, Impulse, love your content. Hope you're well. Really enjoying the Hard Cash series. Thank you so much, series. Philosopher. Philosopher. <laughs> Thank you so much for the candy. You dig it. $13.37. Got the leet. Uh, work hasn't been going great lately, so I watch you instead. Thanks for the distraction and the entertainment. Oh, I'm sorry to hear work's not going great, but uh, I'm happy to be here for you. If it helps get through the day. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Thanks for watching. Hope things that work uh, improve for you. Is there stabby stabby tonight? No, unfortunately not. No stabby stabby tonight. Whoop. Oh, no stabby stabby tonight. I'll be chilling with the family. Phil O. Sofer. Philosopher. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Did I mess that up? <gasps> Ooh, got it. That was fine. I wasn't going to die or anything. <laughs> when do I think the base will be done? Uh, day 537. That's my goal for the base. Literal fields of sunflowers, I know. Did you miss the lush cave? Yeah, but it, honestly, it wasn't that, it wasn't that great. There's the village. You can see it. See it in the skyline. What day am I on? It is working now, right? Uh, 168. I was worried my day counter got messed up somehow. 
What were we searching for? Uh, just the, the foliage. I just wanted some, some lush cave foliage. <laughs> I know that's not how you say it. <laughs> oh, man. See the village better if I kept that 64 chunk render distance. I know. I could have seen my my base from the mansion probably. <laughs> Start the stream like, why is my PC struggling today? Oh, because I'm rendering 64 chunks. <laughs> That'll do it. All right. Good to be home. We are back. Back home at last. All right. And there's our bed that we love out in the middle of the courtyard there. Any thoughts on uh, when you might be doing a raid? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll if I'll do a raid or not. I mean, I have three totems. I'm not really sure what my the benefit might be for me at this point. Risk versus reward wise. Let's put those away. Uh, we should make a little tank for our axolotl friend there, shouldn't we? Diamonds, 16 of them now. Nice. Put our our good loots in here. Um, okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll leave one totem in the chest and I'll carry two on me, one offhand, one extra. So if something happens, then uh, I could always like re-equip real quick. And I'd have to like double die basically to uh, to fail this world now, which feels pretty cool. Let's get sorted. I'm still learning. I'm still learning where things are here. All right, we'll have to get some of these things set up. Four Ender Pearls. That's good. Have we been storing them? I'm going to use one, actually. Let's make ourselves an Ender Chest. Right? Let's make ourselves two Ender Chests. One to keep here at the base and one for uh, for our inventory. Sounds good. Ha ha. Let's just go find the end right now. I mean, we got the Eyes of Ender. Let's go. Let's ro uh, we got to wait. We got to wait. We said day 200. We're going to wait for it. All right, I do need obsidian. It's kind of a pain to do it this way, but do I have any extra buckets? Milk does a body good, you know. Let's just do it. Always thought cobwebs looked like dandruff. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do some netherite mining. I do want to. Um, I do want to actually fix the the spider farm real quick. I don't think it's going to take very long. I have a an idea on how to fix it this time. So we'll just do it. There was a bunch of obsidian in the mansion that I left. I know I wasn't. I forgot I was uh, going to need some obsidian. Oops. No, I wasted it. I for some reason I thought I had extra buckets in my inventory. Oops. Oops. It's not going to be enough. This is enough to make one? No reason to have two. You die, you're done. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You, you die. Uses that, that totem. You And you're still alive in the world. And then you go, boop. And you put the totem in the spot again. And then you die again. Uses the totem. So you, you could actually die like three times in a row. The third time would be the end of your world. Does that make sense? Because you don't actually die when a totem gets used. You're still alive. You're still there in the world, the same spot. Right? Right? That's kind of the idea. If you're, in, if I'm in a seriously tough situation, you know, where I happen to die three times straight, then woof. I guess I deserve to lose the world. All right, Ender Chest acquired. We shall just pop it down right here. Aha. Now, I still need more obsidian. Uh, I think I'll just wait. I think I'll just wait until our little farm there is back up and running. I did not bring back those cauldrons, did I? So, here I am. I think I'm going to make a... I need to move this whole lava thing. Finally. Ah. Look at that. Boop. Do one more. Big brain time. 
feels like cheating yeah i mean if i die even once if i die even once then then you know then i i technically failed hardcore but at least we didn't lose the world i don't think i don't think you'll find any long-term hardcore players that don't end up with a totem you look at like some of the some of the people like Philza that are known for known for having a long-term hardcore world he's been running around with totem for years right or he was before he lost that world i'm pretty sure right he is now anyway. I, I watched him playing hardcore now and he's he's running around with a totem. So put third totem in the ender chest. That's true. Totem isn't cheating. It's it's a smart way to play if you want to play a long term, right? Pearl said she thinks it's cheating, so she won't use one. That's fine. That's fine. I had to fight hard to get this totem, right? So, to each is their own. You know, this is Minecraft. It's a sandbox game. You play it how you want. But don't tell other people how to play. Play the game how you want to and let people play the game how they want to. Don't tell them what's right or wrong. It's a sandbox game. I'll play the way I want to. I chose to use a totem. Made my choice. All right. Don't need two boats on me, do I? Let's go fix this spider spawner real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, I wanna do this gold. All right, so we still touch the gold. So now if we actually smelt the gold, then it should end up with five ingots. So that's how you get smart, right? <laughs> yeah, naked and scared. I've played 24 seasons of when you die, the season's over. So let me have this. Let me have this one. Like I said, I'm still going to treat this world as if one one death is is uh, taken a loss or one use of a totem is taken a loss technically, but at least we won't lose the world at this point because I'm enjoying this world. Like if I if I didn't have totems and I died today, I don't I don't know how I'd feel about starting over. Like I might just be like, yeah, OK. That was fun. And then move on to something else with my, you know? But I, I, I kind of want to continue in this world because I'm having fun with it. Five, there we go. How much gold do we have? I'm gonna start saving up this gold because I want to make some more golden apples. Put that away. I mean, now we can start putting stuff like this, diamonds, right? Like this is our, our good stuff. We can start putting in our inner chest. Why is that there? I think I got lazy. All right. Um, what do I need? I need glass panes. Stairs. I think I already had hoppers down there. Um, take those. That's it. Glass panes, stairs, and a wall. A wall. Perfect. All right. I think I figured out how to fix the spider spawner. Did I do the mansion? Yeah, kind of. We went down into a lush cave and we came back up and somehow it burned itself down. So we kind of finished it off. Kind of a bummer. We missed we missed the grand burning of the thing. <laughs> uh, Genji Live, thank you so much for the $3.14. Says just spent $300 on a limousine rental just to find out it doesn't come with a driver. All that money and no, no one to show for it. What? Who rents a limousine without providing a driver? That is weird. Sorry to hear that. That's crazy. And then charge us $300 for a, a driverless limousine? What? Wait a minute. Huh? Was it the first left? It was the first left. Okay. Hello, spiders. This, uh, this is where we turn down the music and the, uh, the volume. Actually, no, we keep it here. We just turn down hostile. All right, so we were still having some issues with this last time. I'm going to actually turn it off so we're not having spiders in here during this. Let's clear out what is here and we will fix it. Th that was a joke. Nothing to show for it.
It was a joke. You know, playing some Minecraft, processing all these thoughts about how I feel about this argument of totems versus non-totems, how I feel about chastising chat for letting me play the game the way I want to play it. Somebody drops a joke and I don't even realize it. These are these are streamer brain issues, okay? <laughs> streamer brain is a real thing. <laughs> As I'm trying to figure out how to fix my spider farm, process this whole, we have a debate on whether or not I'm playing hardcore the right way. And then somebody drops a joke that just whew, goes over my head. <laughs> it happens. It happens. This is a good joke. <laughs> I didn't read it right. All that money and nothing to show for it. I didn't even like read it the way you wrote it. I like paraphrased it. No wonder. Other Weasel, thank you so much for the nine months. Robo Dabbler, thanks for the tier one sub. Country Arrow, thanks for the eight months. Let's get a prediction on how much ancient debris you will find. Right, we gotta go. We gotta do that. We gotta save ourselves enough time to get that. Country Arrow, thanks for the eight months. Flintus, thanks for the eleven months. Eggy Boy, thanks for the hundred bits. Uh, don't know how normal game, don't know how a normal game mechanic like a totem is so highly debated. You're playing the game as it's made and doing it well. Thanks for the content, brother. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, the way I see it is the goal is to survive. There's a tool in the game to help you survive. Why not get that tool? It was a risk to get it. I took the risk. I have it. And now, and now because of that, I have my safety net, right? So I risked my life to get the totem. I could have, day could have been, world could have been over at that point, right? But now I have it. Now I have my safety net and I'm not afraid to use it. It's fine. Like I could, I could also say, oh, if you want to go real hardcore, no armor, naked and scared. Oh, wait, I already do that in another series. I don't need that here, <laughs> right? <laughs> so anyway, that's my thoughts. Teach his own. Okay. Mm, do, 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 do. Let me see how I fix this. And I think I did go over one more spot with this. So we're going to move these guys. Yeah, and I need glass. Did I bring... Oh, no. I need some more of the tinted glass. Let's go check that. Let's go check that amethyst thingamabobber. Which way was it? Which way was it? Uh, it was... This way around this corner i lost it where was our amethyst stuff this way this way aha uh -huh. and fortunate and we got a raid coming in hello welcome welcome raiders good to have you here pearl thank you so much for the raid welcome raiders we are in my solo hardcore world. What were you guys doing? Was I think Pearl, I did I did see she was playing some Minecraft. Was she also doing hardcore today? What'd you guys come from watching Pearl do today? So glad to see Pearl's back up and running, moved into a new house and actually has internet that works now. <laughs> some solo hardcore. Hey, perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm doing. So uh, thank you for that raid, Pearl. Good to, good to see you. So glad your internet's working. I was worried about you. I thought you moved into a new house that, that was going to have just horrible internet and uh, and you were going to regret the move. Like you were going to have to just turn around and, and sell the house because you didn't have good internet. So glad you found something that works. I see you've been catching up on streaming since too. Very cool. All right. So if you just got here from the raid, first of all, thank you so much. And... Um, you know, by the way, I'm Impulse SV, as, as you know, and uh, I have this world I've been playing on. This is day like, what are we at now? Chat 12. I think this is the 12th time we've streamed this world. So we do three hours, Monday, Wednesday, Friday in this world. Um, and then also uh, we cut them up, make short little version of it uh, with all the best bits and bobs. And those go on my main channel, YouTubeSV.com. Wait, no, YouTube. 
slash impulse sv i do have a website though um so you can catch those there and they uh they're edited down by the amazing the puka who does a great job editing uh if you guys want to get caught up on the series feel free to go over to the youtube channel and check that out and um that noise you hear now is the hype train kicking off <laughs> <laughs> Pearl's bringing in the raid and bringing in the hype. Thank you guys so much. Perfect timing, kicking off a hype train. Appreciate that. All right. So right now, what I'm doing is uh, I have three, three spider spawners. One, two, three, all in range. Uh, yet we've struggled with these because no matter what I do, the spiders just continue to attack me. And it's been, it's been a nightmare. It's been a nightmare. These spiders, these cave spiders, they have just an enormous reach to them that is just, it's just annoying, <laughs> if I'm honest. It's just super annoying, the, the kind of reach these spiders have. So I'm trying to fix this right now so that it's not so bad. So I think what I'll do is we want that water to push. I almost want this to go to continue. So if we do... I think if we do this, we can kind of play with the water stream a little bit because I, I still want it to flow. Okay, I got to get back there, though. I'm stuck. I still want it to flow. So let's do this. Let's put let's do that. That forces it to flow. Now we can put glass there and it will flow all the way. Almost. <laughs> I ruined it. <laughs> got to try that again. Mm. Excuse me. There, there. Did that work? That does not want to flow the way I want it to. Flow the way I want you to. There we go. Ha! Okay. Had to manipulate the water a little bit. Now let's fill that back in. All right there okay that should be good all right that's what we want to do now i think uh i figured out how to block these guys off it, it's kind of a kind of a crazy deal but it'll work i had to play around in creative a little bit i had a ton of people send me like oh do this do that and i tried everything and it didn't nothing nothing seemed to work so uh, i came up with my own way because you know i like coming up with my own way for things it's more fun that way Anyway, um, before we, we get this thing fixed, uh, let me say thank you so much for what rolls off the screen here. The Bearded Padre with the two months. Lady Talon, thank you for the six months. Been wonderful six months. Thanks for your positivity, by the way. I got the job. Congratulations. Lady Talon, thank you for uh, the six months and congratulations for the getting that job you talked about. Amazing. Spending on Twitch, thanks for the 100 bits. Lady Talon with the 100 bits. Mods are wonderful, doing an option, awesome job. Yeah, thanks, mods. Mods are always super appreciated. They're doing amazing things here, keeping the chat fam family friendly and fun. Troy Siren, thanks for the 100 bits. Not up to date on the hardcore. Got to go watch a new episode. All right. Go take a look. That one was from uh, Monday's stream, actually. So you're a couple behind. Brownie96, thanks for the 200 bits. Jez the Berserker with the five gifted sub Bob. Thank you, Jez. Alzag, thanks for the five months. CJ, thanks for the tier one sub. Robo Dabbler, thanks for gifting out that sub to Icy Fox and to Glinda Rose as well. Beard 1974, thanks for the $6.90. Having a single malt and a beer watching your stream. Best Friday night ever. Greetings from Sweden. Okay, I was going to say a little early. A little early to have a beer right now for me. It's only 1030 in the morning, but uh, I guess in Sweden, that's perfectly fine. Maybe I'll maybe I'll uh, join in some festivities tonight. We'll see. <laughs> Robo, since I, I don't, uh, we have the night off not playing Among Us. Robo Dabbler, thanks for the gifted sub as well. To Jay's Malls and Mark Catface. Robo, thanks for all those gifted subs. Twinkle T, thanks for the five months. And Robo Dabbler again, getting it out to Nighty Marie. If you get gifted a sub, make sure you say thank you. Super kind thing for people to be doing. All right. So here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to bop a stair right there. That's important because XP. XP is kind of the issue, right? So here's the main thing with the spider thing. Spiders are only like a one. They're a half block tall and only a block wide, right? So they could fit. Spiders could fit right through this, right here. Now, XP also needs to fit through here, but XP is like half a block by half a block. So XP could actually fit perfectly through this space. However, 
uh, it struggles a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put a wall here. And so that provides just an extra little bit of space for the XP. Spiders cannot fit because they are one block wide. And now we've solved that problem. Um, I did a little bit of testing. I think this is going to work. I don't think they can hit me from here. If so, we'll put some like trapdoors or something to kind of hold us back just a little bit. Actually, no, they can. That's why I brought these panes. Right. So our safety rail actually is going to be these glass panes right here. And this is like, hold me back. Hold me back. All right. Let's turn it on. Let's see if this works. All right. And I think I want to drop down a half block as well. Oops. We probably should have some light. Light is good. And my back is kind of up against the wall at this point, but this should do the trick. Big brain in this, right? See, can reach them. There they are. Slide over a little bit. XP sliding through. Perfect. You know, I can barely reach these spiders, but it doesn't matter. And bam, XP's coming through. Let's check. We just put this chest down. I do need a better way to actually check it. All right, just the one string in there so far. Let's let's empty it actually, and we'll make sure that we're still getting all the drops. That was the one thing I was a little bit worried about because drops could get hung up on the side of that block there. If you could only do the thing where you can put a, a wall next to a different wall and they don't connect, because now they connect, so it's a little bit a little bit uh, harder to to do this kind of trick that I'd like to do. But and are they getting caught in the water elevator? No, they're getting they're getting there. Yeah, that's what I was worried about right there is we got a little bit of a loot problem. So what I could end up doing is just put a, a hopper there into that hopper and that would take care of that. That's not a problem. I'm not too worried about that. Maybe we should turn this thing off and solve that real quick. Do wall and fence connect? I, I think so. I think I tried that. A wall and a fence. I believe they connect now. Can't do a slab because they're wide. They, they, they're wide enough. They'll go under the slab. How do I turn it off? I just flip that lever right there. It turns on that redstone lamp, that redstone lamp, that redstone lamp. And that's enough light in the room for the entire thing to stop spotting. Thank you guys so much for that hype train. I appreciate you. Robo dabbler with all the gifted subs. Thank you so much. Twinkle teeth. Appreciate you. Wall and nether fence. Do nether fence not connect? Ooh, okay. Are you sure about that? Walls and fences do not connect, you say. Hang on. What did I test with that connected? I swear I tested that. Well, that might be the answer. Let me kill this guy and we'll put it up. That's right, since the water is flowing perfectly, I could put anything there, really. And it, like, won't, it wouldn't wash away like carpet even, right? Let me see, I, I swear I tested this. No, oh, you're right. Oh, no, they get through. I think they get through. Hang on, let's let's see. We might, we might get hurt here. I feel like I tested this in creative and, and there's a reason why I ended up not going with this. I think they actually fit through this. We're gonna find out. <laughs> We're going to find out. Why not? Bring it on. Let's just do one batch just in case. <laughs> just in case. Yeah, you would think the wall, the wall should be bigger, right? So you can see the wall comes past center and this one comes past center. So you, there isn't quite the one wide gap, is there? This actually might be the better answer. I think this is going to do it because now the drops are actually reaching the hopper too. There we go. I swear I tested this and then one got through and I was like, nope, that's not going to work. But yeah, I don't think they'll fit. If we look at their hitboxes, I mean, yeah, no, no, no. Their hitboxes are bigger, right? Because they're going to be a block wide. And the XP fit gets through a bit even. Oh, nice job. Nice job. But we did it. Yeah, we only had to do like 80 different ways of, of trying this and this works now. Can they reach you if you get too close to the side? Well, no, I mean, I have my uh, I have my safety rail here, so <laughs> I mean, look, I can barely reach them. 
barely reach him. So this is working great now. I think what we should do is we should put Mending on our armor because look at it, it's hating it, right? And uh, oof, as much as I hate taking my totem off, I, we might as well might as well get some repairs going. Let's hang out for a second, see how well this works. Let's just do a little testing here. Let's make sure they're not getting stuck anywhere. They will make their way. We know that they kind of sit on that block a little bit, but then the next batch comes in and pushes them forward. So, no, this is fine. This is working great. I think we nailed it. I think we finally got it. No problem, Icy Fox. Thanks for hanging out. Good to have you. Yeah, we should keep a we should keep a sword, a special sword here, right? With Bane of Arthropods, looting three, mending the whole works. All right, that XP. You got to get like right in the center here for that XP to make its way through. There we go. And boom. Nice. There we go. I'm going to sit back down while we're while we're getting some spiders built up here. Hopefully nothing comes through because I'm going to sit down and I won't have my hands on the keyboard and mouse and we'll probably uh, probably take some damage. Maybe lose our world. Hopefully this goes well. Did you guys even know I was standing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go do Ancient Debris. Yeah, we do have Sweeping Edge on this sword. Sweeping Edge, Sharpness 4. That's all we got. And Mending. Yes, because I said I was standing when I came back from break. And you listened. You're a good listener. <laughs> Evil Strike, thank you so much for that Prime. How's the guest house and the time lapse going? Pretty good. I got a time lapse of them pouring the concrete. Um, right now things are chill. There's like nothing going on. That desk motor is working. I know. Well, that's because I have like four monitors, a Go XLR, a stream deck, a laptop, a keyboard, a mouse, uh, two key lights, a camera, all mounted to the top of this desk or on the top of the desk, I should say. So the desk is carrying a lot of weight for sure. So yeah, the, the motors, the motors kind of struggling. <laughs> it's a lot when I get the guest house set up or my studio <laughs> when I get the studio set up uh, I'll give you I'll give you guys a tour of it and you'll see all the stuff that I have when it's nice and neat getting out above to the left uh, no he just climbed we got a climber <laughs> unfortunately he decided to, to climb I don't know if he saw me or what made him climb but that's all right. He'll, we should put something there. You can put some like water there to either suffocate them or force them back down. Might be a way to go. How'd the foundation go? Went great. Everything was great. It's good to go. Is he reducing rates? Well, no, there's only one of them, so they should still spawn. There needs to be at least four in the uh, spawning box for it to stop the rates. Does magma brain? Oh, like suck them down? Ooh, that's an interesting thought. They take damage though. I wouldn't want them to die on their way. I wonder if they would take just enough damage to make it easier to to kill them. Which Go XLR do I have? I have the full one, the one with the sliders and the knobs and the buttons. One crawled out. What do you mean one crawled out? No, nothing crawled out. Nothing crawled out. We're good. They're getting a little bunched up there. Like I said, they'll, they'll work their way. They'll work their way through. All good. When you get into the studio, you should look into fully powered desks. Fully powered desks. How's that different than, than what I got? I'll take a look. I'll see. It's going to be hard to explain that in chat. I do have an escapee above. What are you talking about? Well, there's not. <laughs> we just got this guy that's up on the... He climbed He climbed this glass right here, and he's up there. Is that what you're talking about? There's no scot base. Oh, jeez. You can't go up on that part, I guess. <laughs> can't go up on that part. You guys are seeing things. Oh. There's a guy. 
Where did he come from? Jeez, he really came at me. How did they get get out from where did where did he get out from? In the stone on the middle left. Oh. Ha! Not even covered. No wonder. Oh geez, that means there's a light leak in there. Come on, reach. He got out from here. How, how is this even... How is this just open? What? <laughs> Excuse me. Haha. <laughs> I was just chilling there open. No wonder. Okay. I thought you meant from this. I thought you meant like through here. I was like, nothing got out. They would have gone after me. What are you talking about? Yep. I should, I should do something in here to make myself centered. Enderman griefing. Oh, an Enderman came in here and moved those blocks out of the way. That's totally what happened. That is totally what happened. Good shout on that. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. All right. Great. And we can get to the chests. Boom. Look at that. String's good too. We can do, uh, we can do some trading. All right, let's real quick, let's, uh, before we go netherite hunting, let's see if we can get some mending on our, on our gear here. I don't know how much it's going to cost. Last stream, I just didn't cover them. Just missed it. Oh, jeez. Go me. Don't forget slabs don't let light through. I don't think so. The way those were, the way those were, those should have been fine. Never trust an enderman. Oh, yeah, it's another uh, parody issue. Java to Bedrock. Sounds like it. All right. Good. I'm glad we finally solved that spider spawner issue. Like, now we can harvest in peace. <laughs> Without spiders trying to eat our face all the time. Right? Oops. Wrong one. I need to do some cleanup. We didn't work on the base again today. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. This way. We're done with all that. Never know where to put stuff. Okay. All right. We have fire resistance now. We're going to need that, actually. I'm glad we got that from the witch. Because we could potentially run into some lava as we're looking for uh, ancient debris. All right. What did I do with all those mending books? I know I bought a bunch. There we go. One, two, three, four. How much is this going to cost me? <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm naked. It's scary. Five apiece. Okay. Oh, I guess it could be different for each thing. Yep, only three on that. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. Oh, that would be so cool. If you could do that. If you could put totem on your armor, that would be boss. Maybe, maybe a little too powerful. Maybe a little too powerful. And then like that piece of armor, although, okay. Okay. If you die, you lose that piece of armor, but it saves your life. That would be worth it, right? That's a good trade off. You enchant your armor with a totem. If you die, that piece of armor dies and you don't. Basically it kills the armor instead of you. Ooh, tell that to Bill Gates. Everyone's on board with that idea. Everyone's on board. Yeah, like it becomes Curse of Vanishing, basically. But has to be diamond or netherite. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I can't put that on like, you know, iron. There we go. Put that on the um, Minecraft Ideas Reddit or whatever they have these days. For <laughs> Let me call up Dinnerbone, see what he thinks. All right, I just want to let's heal this up just in case we take some take some good damage in the nether and then we're and then we're going we're gonna go get some netherite Talk to Iskall. Maybe he'd add it to vault hunters. I mean sure Adding it to adding it to something that's already modded easy enough. I wanted the vanilla game though 
leather of untying. <laughs> uh. His skull doesn't like enchants. Did I? Thanks for hanging out. First time chatter. Long time viewer. Uh, yeah, triple spider spawners all hooked up right now. We're using it. We got three spawners rocking. And they're all coming to this one spot here. And we're finally not getting our faces eaten by spiders. Feels good. Feels good. Only on chainmail. Oh, man. So, like, force you to wear kind of garbage armor. Ah, I don't like that trade-off. I don't like that trade-off. No, I want... I want to be, uh... Overpowered. How's this doing with the XP? Helmet's almost already done. Very nice. Time for a Spider-Man skin. Because <laughs> we've conquered the spiders. Yes. Exactly. We rocked it. Holy smokes. When did that come in? Yes, Pan. Oh, I missed that. Can you dig? No, not can you dig it. It gives a bomb is what I meant to say. Yes, Pan. I'm on fire today. What's wrong with me? It's been a long week. I'll tell you what. Working on the <laughs> working on the villager breeder slash iron farm yesterday just took everything out of me. And then we did that stream, the the witch tastic stream where I had to like use my brain. I was so fried. Like I literally had to tell them I'm done. I'm done. My brain can't handle anymore. And we were having fun, but I was so done. I was so spent. Yesterday I just spent Spent all day pretty much watching the villager breeder and testing it and stuff. The iron farm works perfect. I got the iron farm working absolutely perfect. 300 iron per hour. Sorry, if we want to be exact, it's it's like 296. So you get 296 ingots per hour from the farm, which is pretty good. In fact, I need to fix my farm here probably because I don't think it's it's getting the best rates. I've kind of figured it out now with the line of sights and stuff. So, 296 iron per hour, 70 poppies, if, you're, if you'd rather have the poppy farm <laughs> part of it. If you're more into poppies than you are iron. Talking to you dot dot dash if you're watching. Um, actually, I think dot dot streaming right now with Zed. Um, so, that part's working great. It was the, the villager breeder part that was having a struggle where the, uh, the farmer that was trying to harvest the carrots and throw them to the, the breeder dudes, he would just stop working for no reason whatsoever. Just stops for like ever. And then I would I would just give him a little nudge. Oh, is that the streaming alone? Okay. They used to do Friday streams together, so I wasn't sure. Um, and then I just give him a little nudge and he'd start working again. And I was really trying to figure out how to stop that from happening, but I think it's just a, I think it's just a, a glitch in the a glitch in the matrix, <laughs> a glitch in the Minecraft that uh, might just have to make a little disclaimer. If your farmer stops working, just maybe a little fishing rod action, pull him back into pull him back into his work area or something. I don't know. Hmm, that's nice to know. You can have your ban. <laughs> you can ban him, mods. Don't have to come in here spitting vitriol. Yeah, just ban him. I noticed, uh, I don't know if it's because the, the pandemic has picked up again and people are getting back into like some lockdown situations and everybody's getting COVID. But there's a lot of negativity brewing again. I noticed it. You kind of just noticed like the vibes, the vibes of the interwebs are getting nasty again. Seeing a lot more nasty stuff in the comments. Right? Sucks. Because I'm, I'm, I'm here trying to spread positive vibes, right? Keep everybody in a good mood. And then people come in being, being trash. And you know where the trash can go. Away. We don't need them here. We're a good community. Sorry. Sorry you're in a negative space. But you don't need to spread it. All right, we're good. Look at that, we're all mended up. Sweet. Uh, might as well finish off the, oh. Huh? Where'd you come from? <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna do the picks. 
How'd you sneak in here? He, he must have just been wandering from a long ways away. I don't know where he came from. Jeez. All right, I was about to take the uh, the totem off and finish up these picks since we're going to be doing some digging, looking for some netherite. Might as well make sure they're good. And I think what I'll do is my first bit of netherite, I'm actually going to put on a pick because that will help us keep it alive longer to find more netherite. So what do we need? We need uh, four pieces and some gold. Oh, more use for gold. I think we're going to find some looking for netherite, though, so that'll be good. Yeah, if he can get to us, that means a creeper could be creeping. That's scary. We're getting more spiders climbing right there. That's definitely a problem, so I'm, I might do a little tweak to that section just right there. Yeah, what? How are they? Usually it's because they can, like, see you that they want to climb, I thought, but... These guys seem to be making their way up anyway. But we'll grab we'll grab some gold while we're looking for netherite, and we'll use that, I suppose, to uh, to make the scraps that we need to. Probably came from a spider jockey. They don't spawn on cave spiders, do they? There's no such thing as cave spider jockeys. Are you just thinking like he wandered so fast in here, maybe? I was going to say, because then I would have to deal with them in here, even. Who's going to be in the Super Bowl? Uh, if I had to guess... I'm going to say... Rams and uh, Chiefs. The Chiefs did win that crazy game, right? Yeah. <laughs> that game was so back and forth, I'm like, wait, which, which team actually ended up winning? That was crazy. I'm going to say Rams and Chiefs, and at that point, at that point, I, I'm i happy for both of them, I guess. I might, I mean, ah, the Chiefs are one of my favorite teams, but the Rams beat my Cardinals, and you kind of want them to go all the way. Got to go for the Rams, because, oh, they could be the first team to, like, play the Super Bowl in their home stadium. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we got to cut the recording. All right, we're good. We're good. We're done. We're done. We're, I'm turning this off. We're out of here. Excellent. Everything's all repaired up. All right, let's go find some netherite. It's not what it's called, is it? <laughs> it's called ancient debris. Oh, the Bucks did win in Tampa last year. I forgot about that. Oh, so it'd be like two years in a row where the, the team wins in their own stadium. Oh, I forgot the Bucks were at home for that. Right. Take a furnace and smithing table with you and just get it, you get the job done there. Yeah, it's time to cut the recording. So let's uh let's do that real quick. Pop pop. Do I need to take a break? No, I mean I just sat down. I'm feeling alright. We'll see. I don't, I'm not going to take a break, but I'm going to cut the recording and uh, get caught up real quick. Becky's Bermuda, thanks for gifting out a sub. Off screen guy, thanks for the sub. Tier one, welcome to Sub Club. Enjoy your channel, Badger Emo. Mickey Lico, Mick, Mick Lico, thanks for the host. And gifting out a sub to K2 Junk. There you go. What editing software do I use? I use Adobe Premiere Pro for editing, although I don't edit these. Um, the Puka does. So basically, I send him all three hours that we do here in three separate files. I cut them just because I know a lot of editors, a lot of editing software don't like really long, you know, past an hour. It gets, it struggles with a little bit for scrubbing and stuff. Uh, so I send him three hours. It's cut up into an hour each. Um, I upload it to like a Google Drive right after the stream's done. It takes like half a day because <laughs> it's like... 30 gigs total and then i let him know and then he downloads them the next day and he gets working on them and then a few days later when he's done editing he gets it back to me and i put it on the main channel and we've been on a pretty consistent schedule which is crazy because i didn't ask i didn't ask puka to be on any kind of specific schedule but he's he's somehow nailed it um where we've been releasing what's it been monday have we been releasing monday wednesday friday no I can't remember now. 
um i actually because he was doing such a good job i actually made a calendar to like kind of say like oh if we can if we can hit this then at least we have a a cadence right let me see i will pop out my my calendar right now so the next one would release on sunday and that would be what we re what we streamed on wednesday and then what we stream today will come out on wednesday and then what we stream on monday comes out on friday next week so it's like yeah we've got this whole thing so anyway there's a little bit of lag but hey it's worth it because we come come to the main channel with something pretty cool really nice cut up clean he's got you know he, he adds a lot to it um, with his sense of humor and everything so it's pretty neat all right um okay it's time we got an hour left i'm gonna start a new recording for puka How do you pause the game? Uh, F3 and escape. Uh, it, it does pause when you go to the main menu, but I mean, would you rather would you rather stare at a main menu or or a menu, or would you you know rather stare at my beautiful face? You know. <laughs> Absolutely love Puka's touches on the editing. Yeah, he's done a tremendous job. How much do I pay? I'm not sure. I want to say what his rates are. I don't I don't know that he would want that public. So I'm not going to say, but for the job he does, it's well worth it. Tell you that much. Yeah, F3 escape. That's it. Yep. At least on Java. <laughs> I don't know about, I don't know about uh, Bedrock, but Tito Mido in the house. What's up, Tito? How you doing? 500 biddies. Thank you so much. Beard1974. Thank you so much for the five gifted sub bomb. You know what? I wouldn't be shocked if the if the Niners did make the Super Bowl. They are playing fantastically right now. They're playing such fantastic game right now. That's what you want. You want your team to do well, like get better when the playoffs come. Cardinals did the opposite. They just like they started the season just amazing. Everybody, you know, it was like they're gonna steamroll the league, and then all of a sudden they just started dropping, and then playoffs came, and it was like, of course, they're on their way downward they're in a downward spiral of course they're not gonna you know that's all you always hope they'll turn things around but i didn't see that coming <laughs> i didn't see them picking it up yeah ever thanks for the 100 bits okay let's go um do i need a boat uh, i guess in case we run into an enderman all right i think i think we have what we need if we want to make some netherite in the nether as we get it we could bring some stuff with us i suppose uh we would have to bring a, a smithing table and a furnace to smelt it down and probably some fuel as well because i don't think we're gonna find that so i wonder if it's worth bringing that stuff or if we should just come back when we have it um yeah i kind of want to just come back when we have it i guess let's just go let's just go i'm in a hurry <laughs> i want to get going Golden armor, yeah. Golden armor. Oh yeah, we could bring our ender chest with us. Right. This golden helmet is hating life, but okay. All right, we'll put that in there actually. Make sure we silk touch this guy, and then we has it. I still need to make another ender chest. I don't think there's enough lava yet to do it, so we'll just wait on that. All right. Golden helmet, bringing our ender chest, a little extra carrying room here. That'll work. I'm hoping, well, we're gonna need the gold for the, uh, the netherite itself, right? So. Hello. All right, I guess uh, no better place but here to just dig down. Now, oh, oh, forgot about you. <laughs> you guys got it handled over there? You got it handled? Because it kind of looks like you don't. Hey, oh, hey, hey, stop it. I handled it for you. You're welcome. Jeez. <laughs> Oh man, these guys, I tell you, can't handle their own business. Alright, what's the level, peeps? What's the level? I forget. I want to say 40? 
No, it's probably changed in 118. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Is it a lake? Is it a lava lake? 16. We gotta go down to 16. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Let's relax with the lava, okay? All right, we're going down to level 15 for this. Is it a... Mm. All right, this may have been a, a bad direction to choose. Seems. Hey, some gold. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do this the smart way. We're gonna silk touch this and then smelt it. That way we get, I think, an entire ingot when we get back. Right? That's the way to do it. I've been told. Oh, jeez. All right, the hardest part is like getting past lava lakes, isn't it? Ah! Fortune's n okay, so here's the thing. There was some science done, at least from a viewer that claims they did science. And they said, when you fortune, it gives an average of eight. It can give you 20, but on average, it gives you eight. If you smelt a silk touched, it'll give you an ingot, which is nine. So technically the silk touch is better according to this person that I don't know, but left a comment saying that they've done the science. So that's where I got that from. All right, 15 is where we said we want to go. Three more. All right, and we're there, right? Okay, I guess I guess we're, we're, we're strip mining now. <laughs> That's how we're doing it. And we hope we don't run into lava. If we do, actually, I'm going to put that a, a little closer. Not sure why I brought my axe to the nether. Ooh. Ooh, we're going to have to worry about our shovel. I forgot there's a lot of gravel here, too. All right, so what I want to do, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go straight. Oh, I don't want to run into any of this. Okay. Hopefully that was just a little bit. Ooh, do it on chunk borders. How come? Strip mine on chunk borders, more luck. Oh, interesting, okay. All right, let's, uh. Let's find a chunk border then. I didn't know that was the... I didn't know that was a high level strat. Did I not turn chunk borders on? I did... No, I didn't. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. It's not that. It's... I thought it was... G. It's G. Wait a minute. Was I on a chunk border? No. Oh, I was far from a chunk border. Apparently. There we go. Okay, so here's a chunk border. Right here. So you guys are saying right here, do it. Do it. Okay. Getting all my hotkeys mixed up today. All right. All right. Gold. Let's see if this is true. Now, I was planning on actually going back and, and doing this bit where you go... Oh, that's hard to watch. That's hard to watch. <laughs> Actually, you can reach one more. I was going too fast. This is a good way to get gold, though. I'm digging this. <laughs> get it? Digging this. <laughs> uh, so much for your lunch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next time I'll do a warning. Some kind of warning. Almost called that deep slate. Blackstone. Forgot the name of stuff. I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. I need to look into this. My brain today is on the on the bus. It is struggling. Your stream quality. Oh my pixels. All my pixels are gone. It's a blur. It's a blur. Uh-oh. 
The MC Wiki says fortune gives an average of eight eight nuggets. Uh, yes, nuggets. Um, that's correct. Making smelting slightly higher. Uh, yep, exactly. Exactly. Okay, so they probably got it from the wiki. In the wiki we trust. Uh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So this is the problem. You run into these lava lakes, and then it's like, yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. Right? Uh, so we'll, we'll do this. Sorry, guys. Sorry. We got to do it. We got to do it. Don't look. We'll just talk. Look in my eyes. Look in my eyes. Everything is fine. You don't need to watch this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> look away if you suffer from motion sickness. Absol epilepsy or seizure. Oh, jeez. Whoop. How did I just do that? Oh, I did a pick. I did a pick block. I didn't even know how I did it. We haven't found any yet. We gonna do anything to celebrate my last day at work? All right, all right, all right. I gotta tell you guys a little. I gotta tell you guys a little something. I gotta tell you guys a little secret. My work is scared. They're scared to lose me. They didn't talk me into staying. Don't worry. All oh, forever. Okay. Here's here's what's going down with the work stitch. So, to, yesterday was supposed to be my official last day of, of my... Oh, sorry. Yesterday was supposed to be my last day. But, and I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm done. I'm done. I've done everything I need to do. But, they're a little worried that something might come up that they need... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, that hurt. That, that hurt. I'm trying to talk, and now I had to use my fire resist because I was... Not paying attention. Jeez. All right. Well, we're trying to tell a story here. Trying to tell a story here. <laughs> all right. So I'm done. I've done all the work that I needed to do. I do need to talk to HR about some, some you know, like 401k and stuff and how that works still. But um, all the work's all the work's done. But they're like, oh, what if something comes up and and like we we need to ask you a question. Or, or we need to like log in and and do you know something you know an emergency type thing, you know, they're, they're nervous you know they're a little nervous how things are gonna work without me there, and uh, and so I said well, if you want, you can you can keep me, like as an employee for like another couple weeks, but I won't actually do any work. <laughs> um, I'll be like on call type of thing. Right? Like, I'm not expected to, to like, be there unless some emergency comes up. Just so that I have my access. Like, I have my computer access and stuff if I need to log in in case of an emergency. So kind of like a, yeah, kind of like a consultant or whatever. Right? And so, officially, I'm still an employee for the next couple weeks. I think until, actually, yeah, for the next, like, three weeks or so. But... I'm not, I don't actually have to work. So I'm, I, I am pretty much done. Like I said, I just need to talk to HR. I need to know what I do to my 401k. So yeah, so I'm, I'm done, but I'm not done. So it's kind of weird, right? Like I, I don't feel like I can celebrate yet because I'm still officially an employee, but by the end of February, we will be done. We will be completely done. And that's going to be fantastic. Oh, my pickaxe. We haven't found any. I haven't found any. Why is this so hard? Are you guys sure it's level 15? I know, I'm watching the pickaxe and I'm nervous about it. I'm so nervous about the pickaxe. Okay. <laughs> Did I make you guys nervous? Uh, so now my old job is my side hustle and my side hustle is my new job. Yeah, pretty much. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me bop this real quick. Um, did they make the chart? Oh no, there's not a chart for for netherite. Okay, I thought there might be a chart for netherite because now chat's saying twelve is better. Yeah, 
yeah we're at we're at 15 right that's 14 there i'm standing on 15 my feet are at 15. so there's less lava on 12 but where's where's the best oh this is good wait a minute wait a minute Where's the best for ancient debris? People go to 15 and use TNT. Oh, because it goes down. Uh-huh. Okay. I want these, actually. I'll take some of that so we can do some redstone-y stuff. All right. Should we... We'll go down and, and do the same thing, like, underneath this. I don't want to I don't want to use my shovel. Get the totem back. Oh, I was getting XP. Thank you. Yeah, I was getting XP trying to trying to repair it. That was my that was my strat there. Was to get it this way. See, got a little bit of repair. But then I forgot to put it back. All right, what we can do then, since we've literally found none. Okay, we are on the chunk border, right? F3G, yep, we're right on the chunk border like you guys said. I trust you. Where did we, where did we come in? Am I lost? How did we get here? I lost our like entrance to this place. I don't remember how we got here. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. Never going back, never. Oh, there it is. All right. So what we'll do is we'll go, we'll go down right here. And now we can just do it at this level, right? Again. Are we worried there's going to be lava now, though? We need a scumpus for this. <laughs> I hope not. I use my fire resist, so we could be in trouble. We could be in trouble if we run into something. If I just don't pay enough attention and we run off. See, now we're at... Yeah, we're at 12 now. There's no ancient debris in my world. Hey! There it is! I just needed to complain a little bit. You know? <laughs> it's funny how that always works. All right. <laughs> there we go! Hidden in the depths. And look at that. We got a nice little, we got a, a three sum right here. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe that was the wrong words to use. <laughs> the diamond's all over again. Uh oh. <laughs> all right, all right, Pookie, you might, might have to ask you to leave that one out as much as I know you want to put it in. We're going to have to leave that one out. Family friendly and stuff might not be appreciated there. Pixar humor. Pixar humor. Can we go with that? It's Pixar humor. A trio. Yeah, it is a trio. That's a nice trio we found. Jeez. <laughs> oh, man. I'm on fire today. Jeez. triplets yeah that works too all right so i can continue doing this right i just got enough i'm gonna continue doing this this is great like each one of these is gonna be an ingot that's that's fantastic that's a good amount of gold i'd say i could probably get rid of this i don't need that although my pocket's just gonna fill up with netherrack 
We're keeping all the netherrack. Maybe we should do something about our shovel. Mr. Pole Man says, hi, Impulse. Please say hi. Hello. <laughs> Any stabby stabby tonight? No, not tonight, unfortunately. A lot of people have uh, stuff and things going on or aren't able to make it, so. Use torch to mine gravel. I mean, sure, but it almost... Because you end up doing, like that and it was like oh well there's only two you know so it unless you have like a ton of it it, it almost doesn't seem worth it i'd say oops i don't need the boat we'll put it there Whoop. give it give it give it did i get it i think i got it yeah oh don't use that pick We've gone a long way. I'm actually surprised we haven't hit a lava pool by now. Shouldn't have said that. Use the bed strat. I don't like the bed strat. It's keeping the, the beds in your inventory and stuff. It's just a hassle. It is such a hassle. I know it's I, I know it's cool. Fun to watch. Explosions are fun. But, like, having to manage beds in your inventory and do this is just too much. And it's a mess, too. It's just such a mess. Not for me. I have plenty of uh, a wool and stuff, though, but... Mm-mm keeping the keeping the quartz so far we only have enough to not even make one <laughs> scrap right <laughs> we're short we're just short on making one scrap oh need to bring the boomers back for this right i was actually surprised when i said i was gonna go to netherite mining like a whole bunch of people were like seemed excited about it i'm like really we're getting excited about me like doing this all right well we're hanging out I'm trying to trying to read some chat and do this at the same time, but it's it's a little scary because if we uh, if we don't pay enough attention and I go into a lava lake, that could be curtains for us. Higher chance of dying. That's true. Day 173. Woo! All right, I'm gonna. All right, I'm going back. Is it better if I do it like this, like nice and slow, or is it better if I just yellow it and? Hey, I think I accidentally. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. I'm really excited about all this gold. We really need it. Look, we've got over a stack. That's amazing. We've got over a stack of gold. You guys say YOLO it. You can handle it? Can you handle it? All right. If you can handle it. If you can handle it, I'm going. I'm going. You guys good? Everybody okay? Survived? Did you guys survive? You all right? When you're doing it, you can't really see what's going on. That's why you go back and you take a look. Ooh, look at that. We've nearly avoided some, some lava there. So much gold. Some, oh, jeez. Why was that there? Death by vein mining. Oh, that would be sad. That would be sad, wouldn't it? Oop. Here we go. Hold on to your britches. We're going. Oop. Oh, the pick. Oh, the pick. Oh. No, we're going to have to go repair it. Oh, man. Let's see. Did we uncover any? We didn't uncover any. Man, there's no there's no ancient debris in this world. What is going on? What is going on? I made everybody so nervous. Uh. <laughs> uh. My 
anxiety. My anxiety. Uh, where's the where's the way up? Wow, we went far. Man. I just wanted one more. Is this the way? No. That was my Wow, we made a long tunnel. Ooh, there was a weird noise just now. Am I mining along the chunk border? Yeah? Yeah? Oops. Y'all told me to do that. There's a chunk border right here. See? We're mining along the chunk border. Didn't seem to do much. Oops. What happened here? Hmm. You, got it. you know I gotta grab those. Where's the way out? Yeah, for me, the, uh, for me, the bed method is just, it's too clunky. Like, this is super, this is faster. I don't know. You're, you're just, you're, you're managing your inventory with so many beds. I don't know. It just feels clunky to me. You guys just want to see if I can survive the blast. <laughs> right? That's really why you're asking? Yeah, there's so much fire and it's just, ugh. Lava everywhere and... I don't know. Maybe it's because I died on Hermitcraft doing it. And I lost all my stuff. Which is super sad. I've had a bad taste in my mouth. Alright. Let's go. Let's go back. Now we gotta mend this stuff up. What is happening right here? Oops. Covered up my stairway. What was my old job? Uh, started off as software developer and then became a product owner of the software that I was developing and then became project manager managing the projects that led to more development on the same product and uh then i did all three at the same time <laughs> and so yeah bit of a uh, bit of everything multiple hats were worn all right let's just dump this in here but we do need to go gather some more lava for this hopefully there is some Uh, uh, Arkuron, you want me to fortune it? No, we've already had this discussion. You must have missed out. Uh, th it's actually better to to silk touch the gold and smelt it. Because then you are guaranteed an ingot, which is nine nuggets. If I silk touched it, you get an average of eight. So the return on investment is better doing it this way. So hopefully that helped you learn something new today. <laughs> Wiki, Wiki says fortune three is 8.8. .8. I didn't even see the 8.8 .8 part. I thought it was just eight, but still. Um, yeah, it's still less. So. Love the gate entrance. Thanks. We got to get working back on the base. Haven't been working on the, the base in a while. Been I've been trying to get ready. Trying to gear up, get ready for a, a dragon fight. I need a bigger lava farm. I know we've been using it like crazy, haven't we? All right, we've got lots of quartz. I dropped off all that nether stuff in here, didn't I? Good. I'll put that in there too. Um, gravel. Put it away here. All right, I gotta go repair my pickaxes. Maybe we should do some trading for it this time instead of spiders. Maybe do a little bit of both. If only I had iron to make cauldrons. I know I could make a huge lava farm, couldn't I? Jeez. We have all the stuff. All the things. Whoop. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I think this iron farm could be more efficient. I think I need to... Um... You see how they're not... Right now, they're not um, scared whilst they're on the beds. That's That's not efficient. So I've I learned something yesterday while working on on this for for a long time. 
Um, they need to be scared constantly. If they're if we want like the the 296 iron per hour that we could be getting, I'll put that in there for now. So I need to tweak that just a little bit. Thank you, thank you. Repair, please. I'll take all the XP. You, you. Thank you. And then, what time of day is it? Okay, you should refresh. You should refresh. We shall buy bookshelves, I guess. I might actually do that to Cartographer Villager. Because... <laughs> it, it, it would be easier to get glass, make glass panes than it is to buy bookshelves and break them down. Cause like doing this is a pain, right? To get the books to sell back. Where the other one, we can just have a crafting table and quickly make glass panes and turn around and sell those. So I think the cartographer infinite trade is actually better than the bookshelf one. I might, it might be worth it to, to get a cartographer Cartographer, if I can say it, to get a cartographer and then get his prices down. Oops, oops, oops. I didn't want. I didn't really want that. Getting it too. Who's got the books? You do. All right, let's go see if our iron trades back up yet. It, it's, a pain, it's a pain to get the pains. No, it's a pain to get the books. Ah, uh, we're past the we're past the trading hour. Why didn't they refresh? Mm. Yeah, if we get the stick trade down to one, even this string deal right now is actually pretty good. We get that down to one. And with the spider farm, that's going to be pretty good. All right, let's hold on to those. We might go back down the spider farm while we wait. Can sleep through the night. You get more emeralds too. Yeah, I know it is. It's more efficient. It's just I didn't know if I wanted to take, take a spot up for just a cleric. Or not a cleric. Um cartographer but I think it's gonna be worth it actually because we're doing more trading than I thought we would be mr. CDA game and thanks for the six six months for roll thanks for the three months thanks for making quarantine with newborn bearable you bet congratulations on the newborn hope you're enjoying your time may you be crazy thanks for the 500 bits turtle gamer thanks for the prime fafa cute cute thanks for the three months beard with the can you dig it three dollars 14 cents says I'd love to see you on Vault Hunters Season 3 with Iscal. Um, definitely been thinking about it. Definitely been thinking about it. I'm not sure yet uh, which way I'm going to go on that. I've been juggling a lot of things, and I just want to make sure I don't overdo overdo it, overcommit myself to things. So um, I know it definitely would be a lot of fun, but I got to be careful because I, I, I love trying to do, like, too many things, you know? Cyril Starborn, 12 months. Thank you. Woohoo! One year. Let's go. Uh, question is skiz working on in your old company too uh yes yeah he still works there he sure does lights are on this might not be worth time, my time here to come to the spider farm they won't reset their trades though until 9 a.m or whatever like the the clock basically the sun needs to be at a direct diagonal here you guys can see my cursor, right? Yeah. So in like one minute, they're going to reset their trades. And in that time, you know, it took me to get down here. I don't know if it was worth it. Ooh, the bottle of enchanting from the cleric. Maybe. Let's see what that does, actually. That's worth trying out. It's in my impulsive nature. <laughs> Yeah, see, it's already time. They're unlocking their trades. That was a waste. If I had a faster way to get up and down, like if we do a bubble elevator and a water drop or something like that, then it might be worth it for me to just cruise down and slice a few guys and then come back up. Oh, the string. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep this week. <laughs> My brain is not working. I don't think I got enough sleep this week. There we go. 
Huh? Thank you. Thank you. More? Can I have more? Masa. It's not done. There we go. Why didn't you leave it on? Oh, I guess I could have. Yeah. Okay, I think they reset. So we'll at least get the two trades today. Yep, he reset. Perfect. Do do do. I feel like they should give more XP. Give more XP, please. Are you still like unlocking stuff? The little green sparklies, like he's just happy to see me. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how many emeralds we have. Okay, that pick's almost done. Yeah, this is kind of a pain though. This is kind of a pain. We need a better way. Buy more glass. Always need more glass, right? Buy more clocks, you meant. <laughs> We're gonna buy all the clocks. Buy a bunch of pickaxes. Uh, yeah, I mean, but we have to get them all like... Oh, I just realized it's only efficiency two on this. They've been insta-mining netherrack, no problem though. All right, we'll spend. We'll spend. Need unbreaking three. That's the biggest problem. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? Did we did we ever get any kind of unbreaking from any of these guys? Uh, I really don't want to get into a villager grind right now. But yeah, unbreaking is our problem. You're absolutely right. And none of these guys... You know what we could do? If we got to level 30, although we're using our levels right now to repair. If we got to level 30, we could try to get on the enchantment table. Right? Hmm. And then get on breaking from the enchantment table. Maybe we'd get lucky there. Potentially. I wonder if that would be worth it. Because unbreaking right now is definitely setting us back. What day am I on? 174. Oh my gosh. Time is flying. So I'm starting to collect the XP. Instead... I don't think the dragon will be next week. I think it'll, well, yeah, it'll be next week, but it won't be next stream, I don't think. Will this tell us what we're gonna get? Why won't it tell us? Oh, cause I have to have a pickaxe that's not. So we have to buy one. Let's buy one. Let's disenchant it. Okay. It's only got efficiency two. We'll grindstone it. Right? Did I have a grindstone over here? No, I've been using yours. Jeez. Don't have unbreaking books yet. We don't have unbreaking books. I just checked all the guys. None of them had unbreaking, right? Enchant a book. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Fire protection three. So we need to do a garbage trade, right? And now... Oh, but we can get anything, right? That's the problem with books is you can get anything. See, this could end up being efficiency three and unbreaking. That won't change with the book cell, will it? Aha, it does. Okay. All right. Now we know for sure it's going to be unbreaking. All right. Now we get the 30 levels. Haha. -ha. I thought you had to, I thought you had to have the specific thing. Like if, if you were trying to get the change on a sword, you would have to do at least a weapon. Or if you're going to get a change on a tool, you'd have to do a tool. 
Books do it. Books cycle the trades. That's nice to know. Okay, cool. Thanks, chat. I learned something from that. Amazing. I, I don't do a lot of... I've never done a lot of enchanting, actually. I always go straight for villagers and just do books because I didn't like having to, like, get lucky with the stuff I wanted from the enchantment table. So it was much easier for me to just villager grind in the beginning, get all the books, and then just make my armor the exact same way I wanted it. Right? All right, let's go. Let's go grind some spiders then to get to 30. Yeah, enchanting's a little weird, yeah. <laughs> oh, we were gonna buy. We we're gonna buy stuff from the cleric. All right, sorry. Waffling. Waffling. I was hoping to get some more netherite today. All these streams, I just need them all to be like eight hours long. Right? I just need to stream for eight hours. That's all. Oh, and I didn't have my toe. <laughs> As I'm being brave. Right? Oh, he hasn't even unlocked it yet. Come on, guy. Let's unlock some stuff. Let's unlock that XP. Let's go. Excuse me. Did you do it? Hey, look at that. We can buy our ender pearls now. So forget killing Endermen to get to the end. We're we're good there. Right? Mm-hmm. He's like, that's a good idea. 24 hour stream. Oh my gosh. Last 24 hour stream I did was uh it was fun, but holy smokes, that was rough. Alright, let's buy some bottles of enchanting from this guy. There are only two emeralds per each. And let's see if uh let's see what kind of XP we can get from this. So we got 12. And then just gonna do it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that was that great. Like the bottles of enchanting never really felt like it gave you a lot. How are they not free roaming? Uh, they're hitboxes because of the carpet right here. The carpet lifts them up just a little bit and then they can't get out. See how their hitbox right there is just above that block. I mean, just above that block. And so they can't get out. Perfect, right? So they all kind of look like they're they're free. They're free. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, This is great. Look at all the ender pearls. We're going to the end someday soon. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, let's go. Let's go now. I almost feel like I can keep ender pearls on my hot bar now. Because we can get them so cheap. Villager trades are OP. They're OP. Uh, they're on a double carpet. Yeah, they're standing on a double carpet there. It's supposed to prevent their AI, so they're not always, like, trying to move and stuff. They're not calculating where they can move to. But somebody said they had a change in 118. I'm not sure if, if I believe that or not. The bug was patched. So is it not even worth it to put them on carpet anymore? Or the bug that made it so that they would, uh still try to walk around even though they were encased. That's what was changed. Um, what can I smell? Thank you. Do this while it's still burning. Let's see if we got it in time. Because we can get some XP from this. We just smelted a lot of gold. Ah, uh, that's a little bit. Not a lot. Something. Got us up a level. 25. Five more levels to go. Oh, look at that beautiful gold. That might be better than a gold farm. All right, maybe not so. Maybe not quite, but that's not bad. Not bad indeed. Okay. Farming XP, I know. Ah, oh, I was hoping to get a little more. You know, here I am like envisioning, oh, we're going to go ancient debris hunting. By the end of the stream, we're probably going to be, oh, daytime. <laughs> By the end of the stream, we're probably going to be, you know, full suit of netherite armor. You know, totally good. No, not even, not even enough to make my pickaxe. This is, this is why it's like, I get tempted to just, to just, well, I guess if I was, if I wanted to play some more, I should just fire up the stream and play. Right? If I want to keep playing. 
just fire up the stream and play. Everybody's like, just do the bed trick, dude. Just do the bed thing. They're about to reset. There we go. Cortex's Impulse discovered your channel through Last Life series. Just want to say, hey, keep up the great hardcore series. Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying it. Appreciate the, uh, the words. We're so close. We're so close. Who wants to buy some books? You do? I'll buy some glass from you in return. Oh, you don't sell glass. Fine. Fine. Be that way. What about you? No? You do that and that. And we're good. Speaking of... Uh, where'd I go? Speaking of Last Life, I saw that something. What'd it say? Speaking of Last Life, is there going to be more seasons? That was like a question. Um, I hope so. I hope so. Um, you know, we don't have anything currently planned, but I know that all of us love doing it. We'd love to do it again. I think uh, the idea now is just to, to see if we can come up with a, a cool new twist for the next next time we get together. And we're all just kind of waiting for some sparks to fly in our braniums, some neurons to connect and have that brilliant idea to, to make whatever next season be even better. And I think once that happens, once somebody has the aha moment, <laughs> then uh, we'll be back, you know. Please. Oh, I'm going to buy more. This will be a, a two for one deal here. Because we got that. We got the 30 levels of XP and we got the XP bottles. All right. Finally, finally up to level 30. I need a better XP farm than that. <laughs> Can I get an Enderman XP farm already? <laughs> Let's get it done. All right, here we go. We're going to enchant level 30. We're definitely getting unbreaking. Oh, I'll take it. Efficiency 4 and breaking 3 and fortune 3. This is our new favorite pick because this last one that we had was only efficiency 2. Uh, if we put mending on it, then uh, uh, it's 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 going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. That is a nice pick right there. I approve. All right. Good to go. Put some mending on that bad boy. And uh, you know what? I can afford the extra level. I fortunate. Yeah, we're very fortunate to get this pick. That's for sure. That's what she shall be named. All right, and then we got an extra pick even. All right, let's put this away. Let's go get some more. Let's go get some ancient debris. I have to, um, I have to organize these chests a little better next time we hang out. That'll be fun. Make sure you make sure you make it for that stream. I'm trying to think like, what am I doing later this afternoon? Like, can I keep streaming? Can I can I go have lunch and then come back and stream some more? Kind of think. Make potion before I go. Um. Did I ever get Nether Wart? Did we ever go find Nether Wart? We can't make we can't make fire resist because we don't have nether wart. We never got nether wart from the fortress. Right? Take bottles to mend as we go. Yeah, it'll do a little bit. Right? We never we never did go into the fortress far enough to find nether wart. The cleric. Cleric. Oh, we c no, he he's he wants me to give him nether wart. If it was the other way around, that'd be great, but no. You can get nether wart from crimson? No, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this. That's a nether wart block, right? They don't let you they don't let you break it down into nether wart, unfortunately. Trade with piglins for fire resist. Uh, are we going to be in that much trouble? Are we going to be in that much trouble that we have to worry about it? I don't think so. I don't think so. I know I have lots of gold, but... We're going to brave it. We got hype train rolling. Woo! Hype train rolling. We're glowing. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. 
Just don't hit lava right away. <laughs> Wait. Man, I made a I made a proper maze of this place, didn't I? Hype train for another stream. <laughs> uh, wow, I really did make a mess of this place. Okay. All right. So now we got our I fortunate pick. We can really get after this. While that hype train's rolling. Avert your eyes, avert your eyes. Ooh. Saw some good stuff. Oh, man. Oh, the frames. Oh, there was some lava there. Is it going to go all the way? Oh, saved it. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Man, lava's the worst. <laughs> oh. Thank you guys so much for the hype train. What's happening over here? You've been amazing as usual. That's what's happening. Jay Kells, I think you you were kicking it off. You and Alec B's kicking off the new hype train. Uh, PSG M and D with 100 bits. Alec B's with the 21 months. Jay Kells with 10 gifted sub bomb. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate that. Getting that hype train started. Minecraft vet. Thank you so much for the four months. Says love your channel. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Eggy boy with 100 bitties. Because no stabby stabby tonight. Could you do extra innings on the hardcore stream? We need netherite. Yeah, if you guys don't mind, um, let me, uh, ooh, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Um, I will, I will, you know, we're going to edit our normal time and then I'll check on some things and see, you know, if anything's going on. And if my afternoon is free, maybe we'll come back and we'll just dedicate it to really grinding out the netherite gig. I don't know how many people would be interested in hanging out while we while we do this <laughs> for extended periods of time, but uh, you know, I seem to be able to somewhat read chat while I do this, so you know, yeah, we'll do it right. We'll get some fire resist and and all that. You guys would mind? You guys would actually hang out while we did this, okay? Well, maybe that'll be a thing then. Let me, uh, like I said, let me let me get my get my grips on what's going on in the household today. And uh, maybe we'll fire up a stream, you know, give me an hour for lunch and then could potentially come back. Everybody's like, I'll be down for that. Yeah, we'll just hang out. We'll talk. We'll see if we can get some more netherite. Um, and it's easy enough because, you know, I don't think I don't think I would like have to hand that off to Puka. You know, we could always just say, you know, I kept I kept doing the netherite grind for a while and I found this much. You know, we don't need to. I have a bunch of clips in there, so I don't need to worry about him editing a bunch. That might work. That might work. All right. Oh, I got to check with the wife. I got to check with the wife. Make sure she's cool with that. Cut the recording. Uh, we're, we're almost getting towards the end, so I'll let it roll. And if we're going to if we're going to come back, then I don't really need to do an outro clip either for this one. If I don't end up coming back, I may just have to log into an outro clip without you guys. I know that feels bad because we said we weren't going to ever be on this world without you. But if we do plan on coming back, I'd love I'd love for the outro clip to have much more netherite than what we have now. Right. It's not even a good video at this point. Jeez. So, yeah, I got to check with the wife. Make sure, you know, I don't want to leave her stranded. if She was hoping to hang out or, or something. I mean, usually I do end up working Friday afternoons anyway, but so should be all good, but we'll find out anyway. Uh, real quick. I, I You guys had the hype train rolling and I'm not able to even keep up. Guernsey, thanks for the hundred bits. Did you tell Green about my suggestion to do Skyblock version of Last Life? Uh, no, actually, uh, I was giving Green some space. He had just gotten back from a trip, so I figured he's got some catching up to do. And uh, so I hadn't I hadn't even really talked to him much since then. Um, but yeah, next time that him and I are just like hanging out and I know that he's he's not like overwhelmed with work. Uh, I will definitely bring that up. Could be interesting. Uh, I know Skizzle Man kind of mentioned that in in our group chat as well about doing something that's kind of high up, you know. But we he had a different idea, like the world was going to be floating islands or something like that, which could have been cool. Kind of the same idea, I guess. Bow and Arrow, thanks for the five months. Maggie, thanks for the five gifted sub bomb. 
Brentley Asteroid with 100 bits, Amber Ray with 100 bits, Ashlyn with the 500 bits, Tiveron with the five gifted sub bomb, MJFN with the prime, Morris Code with the 500 bits. Two streams would be awesome. All right, I will see what I can do. My brain is so like weird today. I'm a little nervous about that, but I think we can manage. Hypersloth, thanks for the 100 bits. Minecraft uh, Ressa, thanks for the prime. Jungle Jane, thanks for the 16 months. Homicidal Hippie with 100 bits. Jasmine, Jasmine, thanks for the three months. Love your by the way, if you dig, if you dig down one block, that stops lava from flowing. Ah, uh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, just take a block and let it flow into that to get rid. Yep, you're right. <laughs> Especially for those. Yeah, you're smart. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Tiveron, thanks for 500 bits. I can read chat while doing this. Famous last words. Right. <laughs> Brian, thanks for the 250 bits. Mad Maddie, thanks for the 300 bits. You'd be here for another right hunting stream? Maybe we'll try the beds a little bit. Probably not. Eggy Boy, thanks for the 100 bits. Jungle Jane, thanks for the 100 bits. Tiveron, thanks for the 10 gifted sub bomb. Sir McGladdery, 100 bits. I mean, maybe I'll try the beds just because I'll get sick of like repairing so much, but no, I don't know. No promises. Okay, here's the problem. Which way was it? So we're not seeing any. We're not seeing any. All right. Oh, whoops. I'm using the wrong pick. Wrong pick. Holy smokes. What'd you just do, J. Kells? What'd you just do? It's like lagging that the number won't even count. 10 gifted sub bomb from J. Kells. There's like a counter that didn't, it wasn't incrementing on my side, so I couldn't even see how many that was. That was amazing. Thank you so much, my dude. Nope, wrong pick. Jeez. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I tried to be smart. And I blew it. Dang it. <laughs> I tried to be smart and I blew it. Here, look. Look at. Oh, gosh. See? Super smart. Super smart. Aw. We're good at stuff. Can I get that without being in danger? I'm in danger. Oh my gosh, we didn't do any exploring as fun today. Okay, if I'm gonna learn how to do the little pokey hole for the lava trick, I, I, I gotta remember to do it. It happens so fast. Lava's scary. I'm gonna come back for that gold, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh yes, we are flawless indeed. Oh, the unbreaking. Look at how much longer our pickaxe is lasting. And we get one more piece of netherite. I'm putting it on there and then, and then we are golden. Like if we're gonna do some netherite hunting, we are golden. Tastes like burning. That's what it is. What did I say before? Smells like burning or something? Tastes like burning. Told you my brain wasn't working today. Exploring is fun. Creeper blows up. Oh my gosh. All right, I gotta go back and look at all this. None of it exposed. Where's all the ancient debris? I did all the things you told me to do. Usually this technique is pretty good, but today we're not having a lot of luck. Yeah, usually I tear through this no problem, find all sorts of ancient debris. This world's just not being kind to us at the moment. You think you get more you think you get more ancient debris in a soul sand valley? That would feel weird if they made it that way. I'm also not getting that last block. Not that it matters. Oops, wrong pick. Yeah, we've done everything. I listened to you. We got to level 12. We're on the chunk border. We're doing all the pro strats. Try a different chunk. Uh, yeah, actually, I think we will go over one chunk. I think we will, uh, because we're going to run out of room on this one anyway. I'm kind of tired of the, the long hallways. Cyril Starborn, thanks for the 200 bits. J. Kells, thanks again for the 10 gifts of sub bomb. 
Miko and Flit, thanks for the 100 bits for your afternoon stream. Maybe record afternoon stream just in case something super important happens. No need to make poops edit if nothing happens. Yeah, I probably should hit record just in case. Would hate to uh, like die or have something crazy happen and then not have it on video, right? I mean, we would have like the stream footage, I suppose, but um, yeah, I wouldn't have a clean version of, of it for like, you know, the YouTube video. So probably a good idea. Did we check all this already? Maybe we'll do the bed strat later. We'll see. We got a raid coming in. What's up, raiders? Coming on in. Thank you. Thank you, music man. How are you doing, my friend? Hope you had a good stream, dude. Thank you so much for that raid. Welcome, welcome. Guys, we are in my hardcore single play world. Um, we're on day 175 now. Uh, I've been doing some some crazy things. Uh, last stream we got we got an extra totem of undying from the mansion. We took care of the mansion. We burn it down today. We burnt the mansion to the ground. <laughs> Said peace out to that mansion. And uh, now we're looking for netherite. We're not having a <laughs> we're not having much luck, unfortunately. <laughs> Getting some netherite. We've been struggling to get some. So. Um, yeah, if you suffer from motion sickness, epilepsy, and all that kind of stuff, or any of that stuff, um, yeah, be careful, because we're, this is what we're doing, uh, you know? This is what we're doing. Well, it kind of burned itself down, that's true. Do we need to go up to level 15? How, how is it that we get so many conflicting reports of the best, best coordinate to, uh, look for netherite I was at 15 and then everybody was like no go to 12 when we went to 12 now everybody's like go to 15 can we please get some consensus in chat please 15 for explosives 12 for strip yeah I mean we're, we're doing the strip mining right now so um all right I'll do I'll do a little bit more guys we're, we're running into extra innings here we're running a little bit over I mean, it's Minecraft. Just one more block, right? It's just, it's just, I know, I know what we need is just around the corner. If we, if we give up now, we're going to regret it, right? <laughs> Please tell me that's it. Are we going to get ourselves into a big black stone area? Or is this just a, a one-off? All right, just a one-off, good. All right. So apparently there's a, a hack with being along chunk borders. That's what I'm being told. We're at 12, right? And I think if I swipe across this way, yeah, we're not quite reaching where we just were, so. All right, let's just do a little bit more. Speed run it. We're speed running the netherite. Revert your eyes if you can't handle it. Do I need to turn off chunk borders? Is it making you guys, is it is it making you go blurry? Me too. Let's do, let's just organize this a little differently. Borders actually help? Okay. <laughs> makes you makes you actually see the progress that's being made since the rest is just a blur. Oh, makes me nervous running so fast. Oh, God. Yep. See, that was the strat right there, right? It was being talked about. Then you, then you, you can calm down for a second and handle your business, right? That's the strat. Gotta have your wits about you. Actually, let's let him say that. Got to have your wits about you. There we go. <laughs> Did I just walk past three of them? Did I? I think you might have been seeing something because I don't see any. I mean, we are cruising pretty fast. I'm sure that the bit rate might be struggling to keep up. Hey, there we go. There we go. There's that beautiful piece of netherite that we've been looking for. Please be more than one. After all that digging, I would love for there to be multiple. And survey says, there we go. Of course, I can't pick it up. Hello, there we go. Get in my inventory. Beautiful. 
Now, there's a chance that like it will also like still generate more like at a diagonal, right? I think we I think we just uncovered enough. I think we uncovered enough there to find out. All right, cool. Cool. So let's do this. Um, I'm fairly confident I'm going to be back at least for another hour or two. But let me go grab lunch. Um, not sure how long I'll be for lunch. But uh, maybe in about an hour, an hour or so, I'll be back. I hope. I hope. I'll let you know. Uh, and, and Raiders just, just came in. I'm sorry. We're, we're like right at the tail end of my usual stream time. Uh, my lunch hour. Uh, but I'm hoping to come back. I'm hoping to come back. Here, I'm going to pause the game on day 176, you know. Day 200, we're going after the dragon, so I need to I need to pause. <laughs> I need to pause. Let's not let the days go by willy-nilly, you know. Hefe Gaming, thank you so much for gifting out that sub. Johnsy, thanks for the resub. Nine months strong. Almost a Twitch baby. No, it tells me nine months. You got yourself a, a Twitch baby, Johnsy. Seven month streak, though. Tiburon, thanks for the five gifted sub bomb. I have Axlia, thanks for the 100 bits. Lycan Child, thanks for the 100 bits. Missed the stream because of traveling, wanted to send some love anyways. Thank you so much, Lycan Child. Enjoy your travels. Have safe travels, I should say. Uh, Clubster, thanks for the nine months. Fex, Fekka, thank you so much for the one, uh, or the tier one sub. Steffo, thanks for the prime sub. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. All right, um, yeah, I gotta get some lunch in me. Uh, I'm gonna just cut here, Puka. This isn't the end. I will, uh, I will send you a, th a fourth clip that will have an outro in it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, be looking for that. I'll tell you that when I upload the files. Jeez. <laughs> Don't need to tell him at the end of the, <laughs> the end of three hours of recording. <laughs> Here's my secret message to Puka. David, thank you so much for those 100 bits. All right. Let me see who, who we got to raid. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Um, Hopefully, food will fix my brainium. <laughs> um, yeah, let's raid Cleo. Let's raid Cleo. She's doing The Sims. Interesting. All right. Let's check it out and uh, be looking for me. Be looking for me in about an hour. If you're on Twitter, I'll tweet it. All right. Uh, if I come back or, or I'll tweet that I'm not coming back if, if, if I can't come back, we'll see. I mean, really, I should be working on the iron farm tutorial, but I kind of want to get some more netherite. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope to see you in a bit. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Give Cleo some love. Have a good one.